you're going to be consistent with something you honestly want to do and honestly you love. Mm -hmm. I just said that in my, my vlog today because and when you love something, you know, you're going to get your ass to do it. Like, yeah, it's like yeah, somebody called, like, hey, come here, let's kick it, do this. You're going to go do it. Yeah. But if you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. That's the difference. See why yeah, I mean? That's the difference. Mm -hmm. When you love it, just it's fun. It's fun. Like, it's, when your heart is in something, you last longer. You know? Yep. Because your why actually has more value to it. Back in here again. About to drop them gems. Spread that wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good time. Yeah. You already know. How y'all feeling today? Rejuvenated from this water. You know, Everybody. water is amazing. I <laughs> know. <laughs> how, many, how many bottles of water do you drink a day? I can't even keep count. Like, what's the average you think you would drink? You it's drink. over a gallon. You drink over a gallon water a day? Yeah, working out plus just drinking. That's all I drink. Really? All I drink is water. Unless I wow. make a smoothie and put uh, like a little apple juice. But even then, it's a little apple juice and then water. So so water is your main ingredient. Yo, your main everything. thing you drink. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's all I know now. Because I was a heavy pop drinker when I was at Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. You just, oops, I dropped it. Right. This nasty. Let's try this one. <laughs> this cool. Let's try this one. Yeah. So, you try every Coca Cola in the world, man. I tried every. Well, not this new shit. Like uh -huh. this blood or, or blood orange and the lime and all this other stuff. I don't do that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, when it came to drinking pop and juice, that was my shit. Twenty four. So, so ever since you stopped working there, though, you've been drinking more water. Oh, actually, I transitioned during, after my awakening. After okay. I had my awakening, it was like. You need to eat right. You mm -hmm. need to drink water. Right. And it just, I started off with water. Like uh -huh. what I tell people, you want to make a change in your life? Start by drinking water. First. Right, That's right. That's like the easiest step. Right. Take pop out, substitute pop with water, substitute juice with water, you know? Like you say wow. you're thirsty, well, drink something that's going to quench your thirst. For real. <laughs> like, and water also cleanses you as well, yeah, man. It's, gonna, it's the first step into, into being authentic. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. I never thought about that. How about you, bro? How many bottles of water do you drink a day? I never really counted, but I know I drink more than a gallon of water a day. That's easy. Yeah. I could drink a gallon of water just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> Word. <laughs> like, I've, I've drinking a whole gallon of water just watching movies. Mm. Like, I drink a ton of water. So, especially when, uh -huh. when you start working out. Water becomes like your best friend. Like, yeah, it really do. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. really you like guys, that's all you crave is water once you Tell start you. working out. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you know just the benefits that's happening. You know you got to replenish Sir. those muscles. All the sh and how much sugar is in this stuff now? Oh, that's yeah. a lot of sugar and stuff. Like, you actually read the nutritional facts. Like this is unhealthy, everybody. Yes, <laughs> yes. But you can't. Put how many sugars? Listen, it's in there. It's it's more than this. <laughs> and look, they say it's twenty seven grams in here. It may be like fifty. You know. Yeah, and that's what they say. That's what you they know, say. That's what the, working at Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. That's what I started to understand. Like, well, working out and working at Coca Cola. What do you one. understand from that? It was all okay, right. So working out, you don't want a lot of sugar because it's not good for your muscles. You know, if you want to mm -hmm. sustain your growth, if you want to grow, you don't need sugar. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not really supposed to have sugar. Right, it's like right. gummy bears, but it's the glucose in that. Right. But sugar is not good for you in any way. So. You know, wanted to, you know, build myself up, gain weight, you know, mm -hmm. be muscular. It was like, let me see how much sugar is in these these pack of Oreos. <laughs> Damn, how much? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, right. like, all right, this juice said, it, this is Minute Maid orange juice. This would be good. Go oh, shit, it's 54 grams. Like, For real. Minute Maid is some of the worst juice you can like the black little, people about to attack you what do you I, mean minute made the worst juice minute made is some of the worst juice oh y'all could be out here drinking oh. all you feel me like it's terrible for you look how much sugar is in there and it's not like milligrams uh -huh. milligrams are smaller than grams. right right it's grams you feel me like it's <laughs> <laughs> grams it's, it's, it's a big ass difference that's true saray that's true that's real true
Yeah. Or help your immune system. But yeah, that's true. You know, I like Minute Maid. I used to drink like the whole carton. You know, that come in my household, I drink that whole carton in one day. That's well, how it be. I, I doubt it. But then you get older, you notice a lot of syrupy drinks get nasty. Yeah. Like that juice it, don't taste yeah. the same no more. Yeah. And like Kool-Aid. Like I don't know anybody really who drink Kool-Aid anymore. I trust him yesterday at my grandma's house. Well, <laughs> I mean, grandma, I, I'll say that because like at my dad's house, uh-huh. my grandma, she stacked with the Kool-Aid. Yep, yep. But you feel me like the ordinary just household, I bet you just not like, yeah, I'm about to whip up some Kool-Aid. Which, <laughs> what color y'all want? You, <laughs> you want purple? You want Red, you feel hey, me? you right, though. You're right. So Kool Aid becoming non-existent to you? Oh, it's been gone. Oh, how long? <laughs> That's a fossil. Oh. I, I gotta dig it up. That's true. That's true. Yep, we you drank some yesterday. <laughs> but that's true. You know, um, growing up, I drank a lot of Kool. My favorite color was grape. Mine was when I could find it, the blue. The blue. The blue. I, nobody never made blue Kool Aid. Man, that's all I mind. <laughs> when you come to Giant Eagle, give me that blue. I don't want that red. Bump that orange. I don't even like orange anything for real, for real. But give me that blue. You don't like yeah. So you don't like orange juice. I like, I like orange juice. It's cool, <laughs> but like orange, like orange drink. Yeah, orange drinks. Like okay. orange pop, orange candy, like Ugh. orange. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like orange stuff either. Bro, I don't like pop. Period. No more. Yeah, pop it. I don't either. I started drinking uh, pop like on a can of dry on that stuff about three years ago. I can have can of dry only when I'm sick. Okay, that's Stom- a rare, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stomach hurt, or if I just need something sweet, I'll just have like a can of dry, but just sip it. I love can of dry. I used to drink yeah, burners, bro. Sierra Mist, at least eight cans a day. I was going to be going crazy with pop, and then one time I was in Toledo on my couch, we was eating pizza and drinking Pepsi, and I drunk it, and it tasted real thick. I was like, ugh, this Ooh. can't be life. This can't be life. And then <laughs> from there on out, I stopped drinking. I cold turkey just stopped oh. drinking pop. I mean, when I go out, I drink like, how y'all see a Red Bull, like a, a Jack and Coke or something like yeah, that? But yeah. such as is me drinking a pop with my dinner? No. Yeah. Straight water. You, or, you phased or out of that. Real juice. <laughs> real juice. You feel me? Yeah. Everybody start, you know, trying smoothies and stuff. Fawaki is right around the corner if you're in South Euclid. There's mm-hmm. Fresh. Shout out to you, Nyla. You work up there, you know. Try some smoothies, you yeah. feel me? Like, smoothies will help replenish. It's good for your body. Mm-hmm. And there's sugar in there. Like, and that's Natural. the other thing. A lot of people don't know. What's up? Your sugar intake comes from your fruits. And fruits have too much sugar for the body. Like, really? yeah, like a holistic doctor told me. It's a lot of sugar in fruit, so you shouldn't just be dogging fruit right. because of how much sugar is in it. So just think, if fruit has enough sugar and can give you an oversupply of sugar, right. just imagine how much pop and juice and everything else Dang, is you make me, me feel bad. And, no, no, I mean, that's, <laughs> a, mean that's the way. Our bodies are able to, they're forced to have to deal with it, but it's just yeah. subtle changes, you know, like, you mm-hmm. know, that's why I said substitute stuff. You know, if you need That's sweets, true. find some healthy sweet. But do you think our body is so immune to like artificial sweets that when we do go natural, our body like kind of I don't know messes up in a way when we transition it. Yeah, it's a withdrawal. Withdrawal. It's, that's it's, the word. It's, it's a withdrawal because uh, I still get cravings for burgers, and I haven't had a burger in. Why are you stop getting red meat? Oh, I don't haven't had red meat in a long ass. Wow, time. Wow, what yeah. made you do that? Like you woke up one day, it's like, hey, I'm done with red meat. One McDonald's just tasted nasty as fuck this one day. And I was just like, <laughs> and I was just like, ugh, like, what the hell? This ain't Mickey D's. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, and then my friend ordered something from Rally's this one day, and right. it was just so greasy. Like, that burger <laughs> just looked like they just pulled it out from SpongeBob. You feel me? Like, straight out the sea, slapped it on uh, in some foil, eat right, this. Right, right. So. And it was just, I don't know, just the look of it. It just didn't, the smell of it didn't smell right. I don't know. I think my body just naturally started to decline certain things over a period. Because, like I said, once the smell, I'm a big smell guy. Uh So, once smell hits me and it makes my stomach, like, quake and, like, ugh. Yeah. I was done. I'm like, oh, no, this ain't it. That's why I stopped eating pork. My whole family think I'm crazy, but stop eating pork. But, hey, one time I was eating pork, I noticed every time I ate it, I was either on the toilet or my stomach was feeling woozy <laughs> and I stopped eating it. You know, black families, it's all in your head. Pork is good for you. They know what's up. I swear. Hey, come on, black families. We want to argue. <laughs> I want to argue. because <laughs> I'd be ready to tell somebody, put that pork down. It, you don't get no substance from it. Real Y'all pork. make me sick. <laughs> so well, what you eat? So what do you cut out, actually? Like what cut foods? Candy. 
cookies for real, for real. Oh, shit. I barely eat cookies. I'm going back to being a vegan. I used to be a vegan, like a strict vegan. Like, I used to not eat real meat. How long was you vegan for? Almost almost a year, but my mom talked me out of it, and a lot of people didn't agree with it because when we went out, it made it hard for me to pick off the menu. So mm-hmm. I would just get salad. Uh, uh-huh, mm-hmm. yep. I'm definitely going back to being a vegan because the side effects of being a vegan are like through the roof. So, like my my success with operating is through the roof when I'm a vegan. Mm-hmm. I was about to ask about that. So, do you find you can move faster? You can think. Like, how, how do you feel though? Well, it's being a vegan is a part of your genetic makeup. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. what's best for your body is literally fruits, nuts, grains, and minerals, and yeah, vegetables. That's true. Mm-hmm. So if you eat what your body is made up of, your functioning will be a lot better. Like when I was a vegan, my strength was through the roof. Like it was to a point where working out became a joke. Like mm-hmm. I was doing like I was yanking like three hundred pull ups, and I would not be sore the next mm-hmm. day. So if you actually become a vegan, mm-hmm. trust me, people can't do it because they're so addicted to meat. But when you really don't focus on it, how often do you eat meat? Like, for real, for real, I only eat think maybe eat? once or twice a week. Really? Not even trying. Oh, damn. Like, on a daily, <laughs> like on a daily basis, even Thanksgiving, uh-huh. even uh-huh. Thanksgiving, I'm eating tons of greens. Oh, yeah. Greens and potatoes. Mm-hmm. On a daily basis, man, I really don't eat meat, for real. Yeah, that's milk, I stopped drinking it. Yeah, I don't think It produces mucus. Much. The only milk I drink is almond milk. Really? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I still don't even drink meat. almond milk, for real. It's, now, I probably can't drink almond. I'm allergic to nuts and everything. Uh, so if I drink that, would that something happen to me? The main thing I drink I is say water drink and take a EpiPen and Pedialyte. Pedialyte? I heard about Pedialyte. That's the, those, are the only in there. I, those are the only things I drink. And vitamin water. Or I'll mm. drink the uh, S-O-B-E water. It actually has fruits enhanced. It's fruits inside mm-hmm. the water. Mm-hmm. Those mm-hmm. are the only things I yeah. drink. You, you know about that too? Yeah. I don't know about none of the stuff y'all talking about. Actually, that's good. Cause, really? Man, you can look it up. Yeah. Pay it's, attention <laughs> to when you eat salads. Uh-huh. Like when I eat healthy, <laughs> when I eat healthy I foods, uh-huh. I can feel the side effects as I'm eating. Yeah. I can feel it. Really? And let's talk about salads for a second. Not, not just your iceberg lettuce uh-huh. and some carrots. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. That's that, that Wendy salad. Uh-huh. Cut that out. <laughs> that's not a salad. A salad has spinach. A salad has some kale. A salad has some cucumbers, mm-hmm. some tomatoes, some real vegetables up in your shit. Who eats raw broccoli? Okay. Yeah. I eat it's, steamed broccoli. It, it's so good. Raw broccoli. Oh, I hate that crunch. I like broccoli. soft broccoli. I hate oh. that crunch. I like. Oh. I, I am a soft broccoli person, but I got. I forced myself to get used to. It. You force yourself, man. You can. You can. It's training your body, just like working out. You. Tra- you got to train your body to be like, or your mindset to be like, this is good. Okay, but which one tastes? All right. So you tricking yourself and stuff yeah. like. I do it. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm tricking what, it. Which one? <laughs> which one really tastes better? <laughs> what? Which one tastes better? <laughs> oh, if we going off taste, give me that steamed broccoli, boy. <laughs> I used to put cheese and all that on so, it. <laughs> so so, so you, you, you tell yourself that you don't like that no more. I don't know. No, no, I, I still Steam eat it. broccoli too mushy for real. No, it, it, mushy it, is good. No. Yeah, I don't like it. See, like my mom made some mushy ass broccoli. If I said, what the mushy, hell is this? I can't, I can't, uh-uh. Yeah, no. Nah. she depending on what it is, I can't eat it. I like a crunch in it. Like, I like to be able to chew it. Like, when it's just, like, it's just <laughs> mashed potatoes. All like, you gotta do is suck it down. Yeah, like, and then it's in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, it, people eat, eat some, eat your greens, eat the earth, you know, a gorilla. <laughs> I was about to tell you, eat the earth. Eat the what's, earth. What, what's, eat the earth. It makes sense. It's just, it's just the way you said eat the earth. Eat the, eat the earth. Eat like, the earth. You know, what's the strongest, some of the strongest animals on the planet, all they do is eat grass. Grass. You right, eat though. Like Leafy gr- greens. Grass and plants. Yeah. A gorilla eats fruits and veggies all day. <laughs> and they're one of the strongest creatures. A horse eats. And the smartest. And the smartest. Yeah. Yeah. And the smartest. Yeah. Most animals are very smart. We just like it's to dumb them down. Eat. Yeah, it's yeah. What they eat? Like they're very intelligent. Yeah, but eat eat the earth. You feel me? Eat that's the that's earth. my slogan for two thousand. You know, smile back, but animals come from the earth. <laughs> <laughs> and so do we. Shit, when we die, we supposed to be. You know, we go right back into the earth, though, man. Animals yeah. eat us. You know what I mean? Unless it's, we get cremated, but it's a revolving yeah, cycle. Life. You know, I learned. I read that today. The circle of life. Because I was outside. 
and I was just watching, you know, like uh, like I was talking earlier, I saw the deer and start eating food from the earth. Mm -hmm. And then something would eat that deer if that deer was to die. As weird as that sounds, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like a bird, a falcon, some one of weird ass animals <laughs> be doing that. <laughs> it just shows you the circle of life though, man. Yeah, constantly just flowing. That's crazy. Cycle. Yeah. We're the only ones who... You're born to die. That's it. Like we're as bad as that sounds. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you are born so to live one life uh -huh. and you die. That's yeah. why I say enjoy it because listen, you don't know when that time is coming either. Never, yeah. ever. That's one thing you can't run away from. You don't know is you know death. A lot of people feel uncomfortable talking about that, but it's going to happen, people. <laughs> it has to. Yeah, like there's no way you can live without experiencing yep. death. Because just think, this isn't our first time here in this life. You know, like we've been reincarnated. We've lived many lives. We just can't recollect them, you know. That's true. I can't read that. What's that uh, say? Decreasing the amount of sugar intake can change your palate. So eventually you won't. Uh, eventually you won't. Eventually you won't have those sugar cravings. 21 days. So it takes 21 days to not have a craving for sugar. See, for me... I'm a donut person. I'm a dessert person. I love sweets. Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to lie to you all. I love sweets. So, for me, it might take 52 days because I, I'm addicted to sweets, honestly. Yeah, as as I was. That's because of the sugar. Mm -hmm. I love it, though. Listen, without caffeine or sugar, you see, I, I can't function some days, though. Can I educate you real quick? Educate me, bro. Please, I want somebody to. So, I said this on my park. I said this on my sermon yesterday. Yeah. When you drink lemonade, what happens after you drink it? I feel good. I ain't gonna lie. I feel you refreshed. Are more. Yeah, you are yeah, more. yeah. Give me another cup of the lemonade. More, the more you drink lemonade, the more you want more. Mm -hmm. All of these drinks that you're drinking, the brisk, mm -hmm. all these teas, yeah. the um, the huggies, and all of that. Ooh. The reason you want more is because of the sugar. You still it, you're drinking fluids, but it's depriving your um. I forget what you call yeah, it. Not yeah. just not just lavatory glands. But what it's doing, it's like it's like dehydrating you. Because when you yeah. drink, when you drink liquor, it dehydrates you. Mm -hmm. So you want more. That's why they say the remedy for a hangover is drink again. Me, hell no! I'm throwing up if I drink again. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be careful what you drink. Man. Yeah, the sugar is what's making you thirsty. Okay, and literally, just like your blood. You feel me? You got the sugar. Ninety percent of your you body is made up of that of, of water. water. So water. You, you have to put that back in. Your body is eighty yeah. percent water. Eighty percent. I think yeah. I drink about a total of eight water bottles a day. That's not bad. No, that yeah. is. That's not I'm bad a waterhead. I drink my caffeine. Not gonna lie to y'all, but I love. That's something I drink is water. I run through it upstairs like crazy. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> At least you get. You should uh, challenge yourself. Get like a a, a gallon uh -huh. and just see how much you just drink up. That's, you know, that's hard. That'd be a good challenge. Though. When you actually put it in the gallon, it's hard. Ooh, uh, you be looking at like when you uh, drink it. Oh no, that I, I get thirsty as hell doing that. Doing a gallon, bruh. I will be getting I'll intimidated see, when you're halfway. Here. I'll see if you go give me a gallon of water. I'll sit here and drink the whole gallon before this is over. Not intention, not chugging it, but just sipping it. I'll drink the whole gallon before this is over. That's yeah. how much I like water. That's, that's, good. that's how I am too. It's like I just and even just eating, you know, like instead of having a pop or juice or anything, sit you a water next to you. You feel me? Like when you drink, you think when you get when you eating your food, you are gonna get thirsty anyway. So once you're thirsty, have some water near you. Boop. You think you just drank that whole one? I'm thirsty again. Oh, there go. That's two bottles of water right there. That's true. And if you do that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or your snacks, to have water. You'll get that gallon pretty damn quick. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to fix the camera. There we go. I see you, Sheree. That's true. We everybody has a purpose. We just gotta follow that purpose and live within that purpose, honestly. Is. Oh, and like, what's shout up? Shout out to Alana. She said, uh, "The gallon, the gallon challenge. It the gets gallon easier. challenge. It gets. I, easier. I'm gonna try. It. That'd be a, good, a vlog thing for me yeah. too. It's easy. It's easier than you think. I'm telling you, it's easy. I'm gonna try. It. How, how long does the challenge have to be for? What, what I mean, days? How long, Alana? A week, do a week. A week, a week of a the week. gallon challenge. All right, y'all. I'm gonna try a week, a week of the gallon off. challenge. Jay said, "Open the door." <laughs> Open it, man. We doing a podcast. Look here, bro. You should have got on time, man. We told you to come early, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm not pausing. Nope, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. But nope. yeah, I'm gonna try that a gallon a week nope. of water. I got another question for y'all there. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. Yeah, and then we need to get to the top. That's what I was about to get to. I was about to get to the topic. <laughs> I was about to say it. Dang, I was about to say it. Which one y'all want to start with today? We got some topics for y'all, all the viewers out there. So what topic y'all want to get started on? 
you see how to start that podcast off today just float mm -hmm. just I love chit chat. That. I like that. Just yeah. chit chat from the beginning. Yeah. That was yeah, that it. Was, yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. that was smooth. That was smooth. That was smooth. All right. So one of the topics I personally want to get started on, man, was is fashion. How fashion shows the expression of who you are. You know, and how you feel most of all. And y'all okay. know when it comes to fashion, honestly, I dress how I feel. Like today, I feel calm, relaxed, cool, collect, whatever, and that's how I'm dressing today. And then. I don't know. Fashion can go so deep, though. You don't got to spend a lot of money on fashion, personally. I mean, that's I me. I think that's what we should address, yeah. that elephant in the room. I think fashion, I think people think fashion is high designer shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> you know, like, that's not fashion. You know, I love ASAP Rocky. He's one of the, the iciest people out here. Like, he can just freak with stuff. Kanye West, same way. He can just throw something together and mm -hmm. make it look hot. But... A real stylist can work with anything and make it hot. Real. You know, that's a stylist, you know. Yes, sir. And, and I know too many of them to be like, they're not just going to go out and buy Prada, mm -hmm. Gucci, Fendi, all this, uh, Balenciaga, all this overly expensive crap to make it look raw. It's like, nah. Name brand. Yeah, any name brand item <laughs> that doesn't make you fashionable, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that makes you a trend. That makes you a trend. And you don't want to be a trend. You want to be... Authentic and an authentic person be who you are. You feel me? Mm -hmm. If you if you look raw and you got on some rock wear jeans <laughs> For real? Who give a damn? Who you feel it? Like yeah. you feeling it people compliment. Oh, yeah, man, look at they you. may not like it They <laughs> might not like it, but be who you are, right. you know, don't try to jock other people or be someone you're not You know, and I feel like too many um, Designer labels are trying to make people what they aren't they want them to be a, a meal ticket they want you to be a dollar bill mm -hmm. instead of actually being like no oh, this is me you know I, i'm a cheap shopper anyway shout out to urban outfitters sales section <laughs> not your regular section i only shop one thing <laughs> on sale that's the only time i'm buying anything from you hey i'm cheap i've been wearing the same clothes for like six seven years i don't hey, care i, I make got it hella work. from six seven years yeah you feel me? i make like, it work hey, this jacket is a a, what's up what she said you know I can't read that, bro. <laughs> I can't remember she said, oh, yeah. Fashion is what you are comfortable in, regardless expensive or affordable. Mm -hmm. What is affordable can look expensive. Because yeah. people like to buy into the brand, man. Yeah. How you sport it. That's yeah, that's, that's it. That's a fact. Yeah. yeah, it just uh, depend on how you uh, uh, how you sport it. I used to buy it to the brand all the time. Definitely coming yeah. Jordans. I'm getting these because they Jordans. I got older. Right. I started buying my own clothes. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. I ain't paying for that. I ain't paying for that <laughs> shit. Not to, not to be $200. Like, not to be, huh? Go ahead, uh, bro. Not to be a bolster, but everything I have on is under $50. I'm just going to put that out there. And it's wrong with yeah. that. I mean, everything I have true. on is under $50. That's a hard vest, too. <laughs> I, was, uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't buy this. is my brother's vest. I didn't hey. buy this. Yeah. But, but see, that's fashion. You feel is me? Under fifty dollars. That's really? fashion. That JC Penney's all day. That's hey. That's my top fashion place. Hey, I went there a few years ago. Oh, got some God. flannels. Got, got like one nose together. Got some nice jeans. I was set. She was like, "Where you get that from?" JC Penney's. It's that's, too expensive. Oh my god! I'm what? Not okay, look. I'm not paying fifty dollars for no jeans. Fifty dollars. I'm not. I paid twenty dollars for mine. Uh, that's reasonable. Yeah. But I'm talking about these stupid Levi's and stuff. Uh, yeah, nah. I'm not paying no fifty dollars for no jeans. The nudie jeans. What's the what's Shout the, to my fam. What's the one with the like the horseshoe on it? Right true. Religion. Oh, true, true religion. religion. Oh, I'm like two hundred dollars. Gosh. I got these trues on. Yeah. Bro, you spent two hundred dollars on those <laughs> pair of jeans. I got a fifteen pair. Hey, but these trues. Is my, Marshalls is my spot though. Marshalls? Marshalls? Mm -hmm. You ever shop at Marshalls? Oh yeah, um, not oh, really, not really. You can get my you you. Marshall, you. Marshall has those gold mines that you just wouldn't expect to be in there. Really? And I'm hey. a I'm a thrifter. Walmart's really? Walmart's the same way. Really? I gotta check. Oh, yeah. somebody just said these, Walmart. These <laughs> jeans is from Walmart. For real? How much you pay for them? Fourteen dollars. Fourteen dollars. <laughs> Fourteen dollars. <laughs> Fourteen. F O U. <laughs> he said it probably too. Fourteen dollars. Yeah, the At most I pay my jeans is like twenty dollars. I ain't gonna lie, my family blessing me though with some Levi's. Without them, I wouldn't have a pair of Levi's. Oh, uh, like, that's how I yeah, was for yeah, Christmas. Yeah. Hey, y'all, if y'all want to help me, give me some pants. Because <laughs> I'm not pants cost too damn much. That's why I'm a jogger Man. person. What about like TJ Maxx? Oh, I ain't been there. I ain't been TJ Maxx in a while. But, I don't know TJ. I've been to TJ Maxx. It, it depends on what you get. I think TJ. Maxx I just haven't somewhat, been there. It's, it's you know? somewhat expensive depending on what you get. Yeah, TJ Maxx because they got my that. mom used to get stuff. I just haven't yeah. been to TJ's yeah. to really be like, yeah. I know what's in here. So, what's y'all top clothing store that y'all shop at? The Walmart. 
All right, what's your name? <laughs> 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 Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. I'm, I'm an online shopper. That's I, right. I go to Walmart for, for everything. <laughs> Walmart specials. <laughs> Uh, you see his eyes? The jeans I have on is George's jeans. They are comfortable. <laughs> Flat <Awesome> out. <laughs> I feel it. I ain't mad at you, bro. Awesome shit. Where you shop at online, man? I'm a I'm an online shopper. Uh, I do everything online because it's discount it's a, codes. It's a cheaper market. It's, it's a cheaper market. There's always a sales section. Mm -hmm. That's why I say Urban Outfitters. Bring me on because I will sport everything in your sales section or when it goes to the sales section. Yeah. Um, but I'm not. I don't I don't pay much for my clothes. I, I stopped doing that. I was, I used to be ne a next person. Oh, um, you know, they oh, rip off, bro. Making my stomach. Hey, this plain shirt that say L on it costs eighty five dollars. It's by so and so though, bro. The only Get reason why I was buying things from Next because they were originals that I knew I wasn't gonna see. Like mm -hmm. this jacket, I haven't seen anybody sport this jacket. That's true. Me? That's true. It was certain items of clothing. I like that. That was just I, like that. I, I knew I wasn't gonna I like find that. online and I knew I wasn't gonna see anywhere else. It's, so it's like yeah. I, I wanted it. But the price of that ticket, I stopped going to y'all. Mm. Next, y'all cost too damn much. I'm cheap. I'm H and M and J C Payne. H and M. Yeah. H and M. I go to H and M get fresh. Nineteen dollar jeans about Clarence section, ten dollar shirts, you can get Fresh in H and M. Hey, y'all joggers can, too. Bro. Listen, uh, I'll be the coolest monkey in the jungle. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to H and M. Uh, Shout out to him. We got a comment. What's up? But remember, you can get what you pay for. So get cheap clothes. It might not last long. You might have to spend for what you want. That's true. I give her to that. To last and good material. Man, you get two pairs of them <laughs> jeans for $14. God damn it. You got two of them damn jeans. You feel me? Get two instead of paying for that 50 bro. Hey. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. I got About a month ago, I got two pairs of jeans for less than $30. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you could have bought some leave. You could have bought some leave by some 50 hey. and that's one. Yeah. I, I got a real question for y'all. You doubled up. Yeah. <laughs> I got a real nice question for y'all. This is real. Do y'all wash y'all jeans after every time you wear them? Hell no. no. I don't even no. Good. I don't feel bad. You don't be all faded. Yeah, right. And if you now, do, you got a hand listen, washer. You just dip so, them in. Listen. So how long did it take y'all to wash y'all jeans? No cap. If it's not dirty, <laughs> like no cap, bro, I don't wash my jeans. Even if it's a stain, I'm getting a wet rag and I'm, I'm getting that stain off. Jeans, okay, listen. I'll be telling my family, I'll, I'll wash, wash my like, jeans. Bro. I'll wash them like once every few months. Me I'm too. Gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I know it may sound dirty, but nah, I don't too. wash that's my jeans for real. That's how it be. Like, I, but I think all men can agree with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I think all men watching can say, hey, I'm right now, there with them. Yeah, if you're sweating, you then yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it, if it's hot, if it's a hot it's ass summer booty. day, yeah. If you if you unzip your zipper and shit just creep up, you better wash them boys out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be real good. Listen, I'll tell my family, like, hey, y'all, I don't wash my jeans. What you mean? Listen, I go months without <laughs> washing my jeans. Like, what? The, 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 the dude going to stink in them. The butt going to stink in them. I'm like, hey, look oh, here. that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. Dude, y'all know about that word? <laughs> the dude going to stink. Dude gonna stink. <laughs> that's a little streak in the pants. <laughs> oh, no, Z. All right, when it get to that. That's foul. That means you need to wash your yeah. ass. <laughs> you need to just wash. Yeah, ass. you better. If you wore them jeans six times already, then you know your ass is is musty dusty. <laughs> musty don't dusty. put don't put them jeans on again. <laughs> you go to the jeans next to those jeans because you already wore them six times. Go to the fresher jeans. That's why you got to alternate. You got to switch them around. Oh, no. See, that's too expensive. Oh, you don't switch them around. You wear the same. You you only got one pair of jeans. No, no cap. I used to be like that, bro. <laughs> it used to be to a point where, well, because all my jeans rip, bro. I'm hot now. Like, yeah. no lie, all my jeans rip. Yeah, I feel it. If I try to kick, my jeans are rip. That's what uh, you just said about the cheap material, man. That's my last comment. But yeah. No, nah, it's because my legs get so big from working out. Oh. My jeans hell. always rip down, straight down bro. the middle. That's how mine bro, was. Wait, wait a minute. Y'all work out in jeans? Hell no, bro. it's just when, yeah. your, when your legs get bigger. Oh, yeah, when okay. like if you do squats and deadlifts because, and stuff, uh, yeah. your thighs is going to broaden out. So Anybody, you can't flexibly, really? you can't really do all of this movement. Anybody who works out knows it's a pain with fashion. Because uh -huh. when you work out, you have to change what type of jeans you get. I used to be able to wear regular jeans. Now, I can't. I have to wear jeans that stretch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. of my legs. Mm -hmm. That's why. I, my waist is like a 32, but because how big my legs are, mm -hmm. I can't get a 32. I have to get like a 38 waist. Mm. 
because it, it can't fit over my legs. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, so it depends. Yeah. And that's why I do the. Uh, that's why I'm a joggers person. Yeah, because then you got room. Like even these, you feel mm-hmm. me? I have room to move in them. Like jeans can be very restricting once you start, especially focusing on your lower body with things. And lower body is my favorite part to do. That's mine too, because so, it works out everything. It's you, a pain. It, it works it's out everything. Pain. You can do squats. That. Yeah, you can do squats. Oh my god! Every day, and watch how big you're gonna get. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're not used to doing squats, do like 75 squats a day for a squats. Week. Your legs. I, I thought about all female doing squats. But y'all say two squats. See how, see how hey. big you get. <laughs> That's such a bad misconception. Yeah, they, squats. Yeah, it yeah, really yeah, is because. Yeah. All right, y'all, man. If you all upper body and you wearing some shorts like and, I a light bulb. and you look like this goddamn, <laughs> if your leg is like this right here, uh, real, get real, your ass out that gym. Right. No, or you better go to that squat rack. Y'all but ever seen these people that walk around their upper body look like the Hulk? <laughs> and then when you look on their lower body, they got these sweats on. Whoa. Skipping leg day. I ain't gonna lie. I went to play finish my first time in like I don't know, a long time yesterday. And I went on a treadmill. I did my cardio. And guess what? I did no leg work. <laughs> I <used to> like, <laughs> That's what most dudes do because we we it's, it's, it's a me- mentality. Body, yeah. You want to show yeah. this off. Yeah. Upper body responds faster. Yeah. What yeah. you do on your upper body, you have to you have to times that by like three on your legs. Yeah. Oh, it you carries do. around your body weight. <laughs> That's true. And you grow from doing leg exercises. Yeah. The you two, do. With it testosterone. Um, it increases testosterone, but two. also increases blood flow. Yeah, like mm-hmm. a lot of, if you want to gain weight, do legs. a lot of leg exercises. Do <laughs> really? that, do squats and deadlifts. I'm going to try it out. And do the, the bench. But I, I'm more so and cardio. I'm trying to get my wind too. back. Yeah. I want to be that guy you see in the morning jogging oh, yeah. three miles. That's why I'm, that's my first my first goal. Then. Oh, yeah, I want my wind all the way. I want to be able to run. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh. trying to get out so, here, boy. It was to a point where I was running three, I was running like three or four miles in under 20 minutes. That's real good, bro. How much was you doing? I was running three to four miles in under 20 minutes. Oh, boy, you a You must have been running. <laughs> yeah, must have been doing. Oh, dude. <laughs> White people was crossing the street. <laughs> I was consistent because I got, I got used to running a mile in 10 minutes. And then after that, I started to go up. And I got up to running a mile and a half in 15. And I got up to running two miles in about 17 minutes. Right. Damn. That's pretty good, man. But Boy, the, more, the more consistent it. you are with running, the easier it gets. It gets so much easier. I like running too. Running feels good uh, to just run. On your it's, body, it's just a, it's a, it's an amazing feeling just it's to run. Just like hooping, you yeah. know. Yeah. Just it's just sport. Great. Yeah, yeah. It's and there's so many sports you got to run in. Tennis, you got to run in. Football, Soccer, you got to run in. Soccer, football, you got to run in. Baseball, golf, basketball. you got to run a little bit. I was yeah. <laughs> Don't be, yeah. Uh, golf, we ain't gonna get. It I know, but I ain't gonna do golf. <laughs> I don't, I don't fight. I'm all running. Like ever since I started going to the rec with them, man. I don't know. I felt great. Like yesterday's my first time. I, I get tired still, but I felt like I had like my breath is coming back, dude. Yeah, it's like you know, and simply going. I go. I only once go who week. once a week. That's all you need. Once That's a week, it. not like every once a week and. Once we can go so far. You got to realize when you soar, soar just lasts like two like or three days count. sometimes. It sure do. And then when you recover, by the time you start to recover, you you're back just, in the gym. You, you're destroying yourself again. And then you walking around. Destroying you? Why you got to yeah. say it like that? Because you're destroying, your, you're, you're ripping your muscles. You are ripping your muscle when you do that. When Is that a good thing? Muscle fibers, you build more muscle. Yeah. So it's, you're literally destroying your body to yeah. make it grow faster and rebuild. It's... Like you, you, you're pushing your body to extreme limits when you work out. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Work out, everybody. Work out is great for you. Seriously, you man. Eat it's right. Good. It's good for your mental. Work out. Uh, so, oh, do y'all recommend? Mental. So I hear eat. I heard eating better. Eating better is better than working out. Is that true for y'all? For y'all experiences? Re- results. Results are ninety percent what you eat. It, it, it is what, what you, you eat. eat. Yeah. Mm. If you eat right uh-huh. and don't work out. You'll be you'll be more ripped than most people. Ooh, really? Yeah. Let me tell you, cause you gonna lose yeah. that all that fat that's just chilling yeah. on you. All that shit is gonna. Yeah. Really? That's yes. crazy. Yeah, so, like. Uh, it, but like he said, ninety percent of what you eat, you know, after your workout is gonna determine your 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 figure after that. Right. What you, you put in is what you get out. Yeah, cause if you you could work out, you could work out hard as fuck. Can, but man, if you go this. right after and drink a Pepsi. And yeah, then you eat you some cookies. It it's just like, or even going drinking. Right. You know, I think people need to understand that too. Drinking isn't good if you if you working out. Like, 
It's destroying your muscles. It's I destroying your growth. People say they can drink and work out and it's good. This one guy was doing that. He was hooping. He was drunk. No names. But I'm just saying, this one guy was doing that two weeks ago. He was hooping and... He Wait, was, when, we, when we was hooping? Yeah. I already know who you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> he was drunk. He's like, bro, I, he's like, bro, I had a good day. Oh, but I smoked liquor. I'm like, oh, what you doing? Shit got lit. I'm lit right now. Yeah. And he out here hooping, y'all. <laughs> hooping. <laughs> he be hooping, too. Like, he <laughs> flying down the floor. <laughs> like, he hoop. <laughs> Smell like liquor. And I'm over here like, wait a minute. This can't be good, but he doing it. <laughs> Some people hey, can be function doing. like that, man. I can't function. I'll be, I be, so I be up here like, who? Anytime I drink, I be wanting to work out. I ain't even gonna lie. You what? When I drink, I work out. When you drink, so when you get drunk or something, you gotta have I a drink. Will, you I, go home and go work this out. I, I literally go home and work out. <laughs> you all wild. <laughs> what he, 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 when I'm drunk, I'm drunk for the day. <laughs> That's the whole day. Hey, we chilling right now. But but I'm like him though. After I'm drunk, I really do want to work out. Like those, that next day, I'm like, I got to get back into shape. You Yo, know, it's good. like I got to burn this up out of me. I do want to work out while I'm drunk. Like oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get lit, so I go work out. <laughs> I'm sweating bullets, but I still be wanting to work out. I'd be that dude killing everybody in there. Yeah, just throw <laughs> five plates on these sides. <laughs> Somebody just put he's not Ooh. lying. Hey, I'm shout out to you. I want to work out. For, I, I've done it high, like <clears> smoking, because oh, like oh, I could be determined, but your win. That. It's just your win. <laughs> your win be effed up. That's what I'm going to say with I've that. I've tried Sheesh. smoking. Yeah. I used to smoke, smoking and doing pull ups. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm like 20 pounds heavier. Because you smoking know? vaso constricts. Hey, I've been studying my class a lot. <laughs> vaso constricts you, though, man. It, 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 mm. it, it, restricts, it restricts everything in your body, all your blood vessels, and all that shit. So it's like it's trying to get through this little tiny hole. Yeah. Which makes you get a high blood pressure and all that. And I mean, tachycardic. Yes. That's why it does that. Smoking does that, yeah. yeah. I could tell because when I smoke it, I, my breathing be effed yeah, up. It's like, breathing. <laughs> it's like, it like it squeezes be, everything in your body. Yeah. It's like, mm. yeah, it's, it's like, like I have to focus on my yeah. breath. Like, I literally be just. Like panting like a mm -hmm. dog when I'm well, after I smoke, yeah. you just yeah. my breathing just be off, and I'm like, what the? That's fuck why they say it? when you smoke, man, you're supposed to be chill. You go, you try to work out, you smoke, you have a damn heart attack. I actually do. Uh, yeah. I've done it. Like I'm, I'm uh, working, yeah. but it's just I have a second drive because okay. my my mental kicks in and be like, we about to hit all this shit. Oh, okay. So okay. it's just like that drive. But like I said, my wind be just like, whoo, you know, yeah. like I be having to take a second. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's wild, man. You know they say, but hey. You know they each is all. It's people, all about people do smoke cocaine or uh, no? Oh, yeah, shit. they snort up. Oh, and then, yeah, that, I don't bro. condone any that's of that stuff. Far. Everybody, <laughs> that's, that's too far. <laughs> no, nah, hey, way too far. the white people. If y'all watching, y'all know the ones at the gym. <laughs> like they, that's I, the I need an eight ball. I no, all this. Yeah, some people do. Drug. Yeah, some people do do cocaine all that to actually function and go to the gym and stuff. <laughs> they do, and, and that's real. And they be dogging it because it's some white dudes at the gym. I just hit this what fucking think about edibles? line. Edibles. Oof. I heard them mess you up. I, I hear that edibles are great though. It's for, it's for good people who have cancer. People are sick. You know what I mean. Well, I heard edible. in the highest intense. I heard too. Yeah, it's that's because you eating it. Yeah, and it gets to your system yeah. a lot easier. It's it's a body high. Yeah. It's it's an extreme body high for but hours. For hours. And that's why I don't like it, cause I'm I will be gone for you can't hours. Control it. I can't, yeah, I'm just gone. Like, Sit your ass out, like, all right. <laughs> and that's how you be human. All right. All right. <laughs> and I'll be sitting like this for hours. Like, and my mom come in like, damn, you still sitting here, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's only been what ten minutes? No, <laughs> it's been hours. <laughs> And you can't stop until you it's can't, gone. Until it's just gone. And that's what be... Edibles, they good. But if you're going to eat an edible, take a little piece and wait. <laughs> just don't <laughs> rush it. Make sure. Yeah. Like, don't rush it. Don't say this ain't hitting fast enough because you about to fuck yourself up. You're funny, man. <laughs> What's a good balance? Uh, what do you mean, a good balance? For edibles. Cause you eat half of but, it, you still. But you know what? Some edibles we pull at some point. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and put it back down. <laughs> Go outside for forty five minutes. I don't know. And, and see. A normal bite to a brownie is like basically almost half the brownie. So that's not even a reasonable amount. No, 
I don't know. Probably like thirty three percent. Half of a half of a bite is like a reasonable amount. <laughs> yeah, cause see, okay, say if this was the brownie, can I pick this up? So if this is the brownie, oh no, I just fucking a regular That's man, a big brownie. Well, you just hey, edibles you coming big. <laughs> <laughs> and so you think all right, this yo that edible? If you just take a bite, like all right, this is a regular brownie. You eating about this much of it? You feel yeah, me? This is it. You gone? So you think thirty three percent? Of it, you should eat. That's too yeah, much. Yeah, you you should eat third, this much. Like, you eat, like eat this 15%. corner off. Eat okay. this little corner. Eat twenty five percent. Fifteen. Fifteen too low, 15. I think though. Please. If you ain't used to it, though, it's not. Are you not yeah. used to it, 15? Yeah, if you a newbie, you need to smoke weed before you just jump into the edible game. Yeah, because right? it steps. It steps yeah, before you do. It's, it's a lot of steps. Just like smoking a bong is way different from smoking a bowl to mm -hmm. smoking a joint to smoking a blunt. You know, like there, there's <laughs> there's different steps That's true. when you smoking and, and like edible is that step above. It's like edible and dabs, you know, That's like true. those are those two. You got to you got to hit these baby steps before we just throw you out there like this. You know, yeah, that's real true. When I hit a dab, I said, oh, this is high. So that, that's when you went to another world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I was. At. You don't know. What you, I, I, it was four twenty, and that couch was real comfy. How was your first experience doing that? Doing dabs. Yeah, I was real. I high. feel like bogs are easier. Who said that? Somebody said <laughs> bogs will kill you. Bogs are easier than smoking. It just a bong. <laughs> <laughs> a bong will have your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. That's because I think it's because That's a bad. bong is like it's a little bit more pure than a It's pure. You're getting straight and shot of yeah, the it, it's you know, a straight gun of yeah. it. Yeah. I think because like that's why I like joints. It was smoking papers over a blunt. You feel me? Smoking papers is smoother. You know, right. like you could hit it and ain't choking you up. But if you hit a blunt, you might have to you know <laughs> no way cap <caps. laughs> <laughs> I I'm cool you know like yeah. your throat burning That's your chest and That's see I, I've never <clears throat> I've never gotten that I think if you're if your throat starting to burn you smoke it raw first off yeah cause my throat has never burned at all really when I used to smoke New Year's Cal Eve. Cal ain't smoke no fire. He's smoking that Reggie, y'all. That's why. <laughs> Order New pocket. Year, New Year's Eve, like five years back. Yeah. Is the most I've ever smoked in my life. Oh, for real. But my throat never burned at all. Oh. That's what's up. You might so, just have you might have a, that strong esophagus right here, man. <laughs> you got you got that iron lung popping off with you. <laughs> drink that good water. Hey, that's what I be doing drink when my throat be burning. <laughs> I'll stick to that. Man, you got comments. <laughs> what your comments over here saying, bro? Oh shoot. You got people commenting. See, you ain't yeah, attention. I sure ain't. Right. Uh, bongs will have you on on the flow, man. You ain't lying, Jay. Fact I think it. I think it depends on how much you hitting. Because if you're doing something ridiculous, yeah, it's gonna have you on the. And floor. they say when you hit backwoods, they hit you back. Oh. You ain't lying. You ain't lying. Stay away from backwoods. Stay I away. We need to put a ban on them. Ban <laughs> put a ban on no them. No backwoods. No black in my house. <laughs> Get that out of oh, here. Throw them back to the kids. Gutter, don't smoke yeah. none of that junk. <laughs> Uh oh, somebody finna get mad. Somebody about to get real mad. <laughs> somebody, what you mean no smoke backwoods? <laughs> somebody about to attack us. And Dabs will have you higher than outer space. Y'all is not lying. Dabs will have, have one. I don't think I want one. Yeah, <laughs> no. If you ain't, no. You gotta really prepare yourself if you just gonna. Cause see, like, a real stoner, if you gonna dab, they gonna make you clear, clear it out. You feel me? If you hitting right. a dab, you got it. It ain't like, oh, I'm good. Like, no, nah, you is still got to burn the rest. It's just pure THC. Oh, okay. Yeah, you feel me? You got to clear it all the way out until it's gone, gone. So that's when you it's dabbing. Gone, gone. <laughs> <laughs> when you dabbing, you have to dab. Like, that's the smokers I've smoked with. Like, nah, clear this out. I'm not hitting that after you. This is yours, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> Sit your ass on there. Clear that dab out or you got to leave. Out. Every person I've been with who dabbed, they said, Clear no, because and that shit's expensive too. That's yeah. why. Like, this is, like clear that out. Damn ball. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you mean you done? Uh-uh. Get your ass back over. I'm done. Back. I'm done. Well, you better leave, nigga. <laughs> Kick you out the house. Fuck you and your yeah. high bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you better finish that shit. I'll spend fifty dollars on that. I spent one hundred fifty dollars on that little. <laughs> hey, yo, we ain't drug addicts. We just live the lifestyle. You feel me? We just, we just had. I think everybody's went through that phase. <laughs>
You had to. It we was would. to a point where I was scarfing up change. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He was out here. I was up here scarfing up. <laughs> hey, bro. Yo, we do is mad as fuck. We count. Oh, this God. nigga come. <laughs> That's when I was in high school, though, man. Oh, in after high school? High, after high school, I gave. Oh. After high school, I gave it up. I'm fucking this up. Hold on, y'all. I gave it up after high school. I was. I was too scared. I was. I was. I was, I was still on my smoking is bad. Bad <laughs> high school. Like I was still no, a after square. High school, I gave it up. I was a square. I said, "What? You guys are smoking your life." Life is gonna go away. Right, you're sm- You're gonna die soon. <laughs> Ooh, why y'all there smoking? Get out of here, nigga. I'm like, hey, bro, y- y'all about to die. <laughs> you know how many times I say that? What? When people smoke. Why are you killing yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I said that said to people. Smoking all the time. them backwoods, you is. No, no, backwoods. It puts you in your coffin real quick. Somebody counting about the backwoods. Oh, uh, no, that's what I was looking at. <laughs> I've been oh, clean no from smoking weed there. for seven years today. Hey, shout out to you, Jazz. Not smoking weed for seven years. She have? She hasn't smoked weed in seven yeah. years. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, that, seven that years in no kitchen. Club. And yeah. you still in your 20s? She still in her 20s? Yeah, she still. She uh, you will get back to it. But yeah. <laughs> No, that's good. No, that's good. <laughs> I would come through with a joint like, hey. <laughs> you just want to hit. That's funny. I got a comment. What is backwoods? Backwoods is can somebody explain my, what backwoods is? Mom Dukes asks, "What's a backwood, y'all?" A backwood is it's, it's just it's, 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 it's a tobacco leaf. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a it's a leaf, but it's tobacco. It's just thick. I, I, right. It's hard to describe it. it it's a thick. It are you put marijuana in it, and it's a thick tobacco leaf. It's it's hundred percent tobacco, and it's a leaf, and it's really thick. And people like smoking all of that. I don't know nah. why. <laughs> like, if you want to smoke a cigarette, kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, early. Well, that, it's, it's pretty much smoking a cigarette, just a brown cigarette. Uh, yeah, with the leaf. That's weird. I, I can't explain what tobacco leaf is. Yeah, it is. Like she just said, a big ass tobacco. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's a cancer stick. That's what it is. Yeah, like. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that. Like, yeah, like if you're gonna smoke, smoke pick or choose. You ain't, we don't need to mix tobacco with your weed. Yeah. So how y'all feel about the cannabis industry? Uh, uh, how y'all feel about the, <laughs> the cannabis industry, like such as it? You know, they becoming businesses and it's coming more legal. How y'all feel about that movement? Oh, it's a blessing because there's so many benefits to it. Why? Right, what benefits from your perspective? Cancer is is it's a new way. Well, one is supplying jobs. You feel me? It's like, supplying jobs. It's supplying jobs. Yeah. You know, like we first off, people shouldn't keep getting locked up for smoking weed. You know, like that's <laughs> one of them petty ass crimes. Like y'all looking for shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Cops ain't got nothing to do. But it's it's supplying jobs for people. Like scientists are finding out so many benefits of, of marijuana. You feel me? I can't name them all, but I just know it's the earth. You can't go wrong with smoking some green. You know, mm-hmm. it's nothing that's just gonna kill you. Maybe the lighter fluid that you smoke in uh, that yeah, probably kill you right, before right, anything. Right, yeah, yeah, Use right. matches, but there's <clears throat> like the 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 cannab- the weed industry to me can help you know change lives for real especially yeah. how much research they're putting into it and seeing the the benefits of it every day yeah, yeah. i find it can help a lot of people honestly you know and definitely by me being in that medical field a lot of people that you know were sick and you know had chronic illness and cancer all that they all told me that they ate edibles and stuff mm-hmm. and, and they said it helped the pain and it says it helps also put them at ease yeah mentally you know yeah. i'm like what it's like it's what's that's what i said the government society is doing it too much with weed. Zen for people who are like under pressure. Mm-hmm. And what does it do? Creates a zen for people who are under pressure. Hmm. Like mm-hmm. you know, you know they use uh, the uh, marijuana oil for people who have cerebral palsy, for people who stutter. Yep. 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 Yeah. 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 Marijuana has so many cures. It's just it's a money scam. The government doesn't want you to. Yeah. Know. They don't want us selling. It's it. literally a but, money scam. What do y'all think it is now, though, since they have businesses for it? It's still a money scam because they're well, still making money. You know what I mean? It's not just recreational now. People are selling it. And I think, I think honestly, I think that's what makes it illegal. Mm-hmm. It's a fact where people are just selling like it. Like, we're abusing Oh, it. making easy money. And the <laughs> yeah. government don't like you making easy money. It's like, um, Fuck y'all doing? like alcohol. When blacks used to sell alcohol before. You oh, know, the they can't, Yeah, they couldn't get taxes off that's of it. That's why so. you need a liquor mm-hmm. license. They don't yeah. want you doing anything that's... They want you. So, they they want to make some type of profit off of whatever you're doing. So yeah. they want their hand in your in your pocket. Hey, ain't that crazy? When come to business, 
you can't have no kind of. I mean, you can have you can have a small business under the table, but a big business, they gotta know. If they yeah. don't know, you're going to jail. You're going they to jail. Ain't that crazy? Funds, yeah. They gotta know everything you know. Your contracts, yeah. what you're doing. Right. So, moral of the story is: if you live in America, you're always trapped when it comes to mm-hmm. like the government and all that stuff. It you sounds are, like you are, but you aren't because once you get to a certain point of success, there's nothing the government can do. But they still do get a chunk. We of black, money. bro. <laughs> 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 hey, I don't know. I don't know. I think they still try to be at our necks. They always gonna be at yeah. our necks. We're black, like you just said. We're black. Whenever you, whenever you're the wrong skin color. You, it's always gonna be somebody like, oh, after okay. your ass, hey, yeah. right. and they gonna chill on you. They might watch you for a while just to see. Well, ten years later, well, you grossed an estimate of fifteen million dollars, and we need seven point three five million back. And you like what? Wait, well, when did y'all that? Uh, well, you didn't file your taxes for the last eight years. <laughs> they, they, they wait though. You they wait. They, they, they wait. They gonna wait. Yeah, they gonna they gonna wait for a reason. Yeah, they gonna wait till you at your peak, or, yeah, they they and then they like, that. we got you. I'm for real. Yeah, they got me with taxes. Oh I'm, man, I'm, because I work in a different city than I live in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they waited like four years, and I'm just finishing up paying them thirteen hundred dollars in city taxes. City taxes? City taxes. That's no. not even federal now. That's city. Time out. Not even third. It was seventeen hundred dollars in city taxes. Sheesh. I'm basically finished, but that man, trust me, they do that on purpose. Like they got that stuff planned out. Oh, they do. They know when you're not paying. That's why they don't send you the letters. Oh, so they they, they want you to pretty much blindly just keep on living life and just yeah. racking it up, and then they're gonna hit you, you like get, once you get to a certain point. They say, oh yeah, it's time to send it to him. Send it to him now. Yeah. Oh, he's mm-hmm. in the thousands at this point. We can get it. We, let's get that. That's why when it blindsides you a career, man, you go bankrupt. RTA. What did I say? Rita? Yeah, Rita. Rita. What, what is Rita? I for- y- y'all know what that is? Something, just- something, something tax agency. I forget. It's like, because my mom does it. She just told me. Yeah, yeah I seen read the paper on the table yeah. last I, night. I was like, just oh, told shit. me what it was. Something <laughs> tax agency. Them hey, in the with, IRS. With this Rita paper. Oh, that's the IRS? No, no, I'm just no, saying, I, no, I'm just saying. What Rita is Rita? The IRS, you it's don't want to see on the it's table. It's something tax agency. If my mom's watching, she should be able to tell you what Rita is. I don't know if she's watching. Yeah, my mom watched. Let's see what she said. The a, yeah, the tax agency. Oh, okay. So it is a tax agency. Regional in yeah. Regional Income Tax Agency. There you go. Oh, so that's when they come. It has to be when they come at Rita. Come after you. Yeah. Hey, what up? <laughs> we <laughs> need that letters in the mail. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's like a, it's. It looks like a check, but it's just telling you what you what you owe and stuff. Like Dang. when you open it and you look at it, it looks like a check because there's a dotted thing that you can rip. Uh huh. So yeah. So but it says Rita in the top left hand corner. So even even though you get taxes taken out from your check. You know what I mean? They still take more that's money same, from you? That's the same thing I thought. Apparently, you, you don't. I'm not sure. See, I don't know nothing about tax. I'm The older we get, yeah, obviously, see, the more I'm learning. My friend, they got my friend Taryn, too. Oh, they got somebody. Oh, dang. Yeah. Everybody getting got. You got got before. They I do. probably did, and I don't they even do. know yet. What do they say? I'm going to wait. It's till. weird. I don't know how they do we it. Should know ta- yeah. If, because it's city and it's federal, mm-hmm. and they take that out of your check. But then again, you still owe taxes on the city. I don't get that. That's why I don't know, understand. I had to pay city it's taxes so one time. It's like fifty dollars. So income tax. Yeah. They're city and federal. Yeah. And when you don't owe anything, they're not supposed to take it out. But apparently, I don't know. Ain't that crazy? They make taxes confusing because like then a lot of us can be like whatever. We are not gonna really look deep That's into why it. We ain't looking into shit. Yeah. That's why just I let like, my mom right. handle it because my mom does taxes. Same. She's certified in like state taxes, government taxes, military taxes. Like there's so many different areas of taxes. It's ridiculous. That's yeah, crazy. Man. We yeah. all are in a in a mega cage. You feel <laughs> we me? Sound like, like we, we, oh, like, yeah. we all are it's just. Box. It's so many written forms that What's keep that people movie? in change mm-hmm. and chains. Is it the cube where those people are kidnapped and they're stuck in this cube? And a- after so many after some after so many minutes, it uh-huh. moves, and it's also booby trapped. Mm. You got to use algorithms and formulas to get out of it. It sounds like that's like the system we in now. Yeah, it's literally like that. I think it's called the Cube. The mm. Cube. It's on Netflix. I'm it's a good here. movie, but yeah. it it really shows you. I don't it's want like nothing to do with the IRS. I don't want to do nothing with the government. I don't want nothing to do with it. Stay out my pocket. Stay out my life. You stay. Yeah, over and there. you work in a city. What's that say? Uh, if you work in one, if you work in one city, 
and live in another city, you have to pay from bo- for both. Oh, see, cause look, I, hey, I was hey, working in Toledo, yeah. and I guess you know, I, I still you know my everything was still here though. But I was working in Toledo. That's why I owe probably like fifty dollars that one year. Yep. Wow. Because I, li- I live in Cleveland Heights, but I work I work off of. So you got to pay two city taxes. Yep. Whoa, that's and crazy. Then the, and then the crazy part is. After every every January, you have to pay taxes again. Yeah, so you if do. you don't pay off the taxes prior, <laughs> you got to pay on both. And the longer you stay behind, the more you become in debt. Mm-hmm. And they don't be playing with that shit. And it builds interest, oh, yeah. too. Quick. Like, if you don't add a payment plan, they build interest. Wow. Like, I only owe 300 but because I waited, like, two weeks uh-huh. after they sent me the letter, I owed 750 <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, they interest. I, I, I heard like, that's they, called a penalty. Is that what it's yeah, called? A yeah. penalty. Yeah. They and whack penalty, you. They whack you. They whack you. <laughs> you. <laughs> if you don't get a payment plan or something, they will continue to wax you. My parents had to get a loan out for taxes because they waxed them that bad. Dang, Like, it was man. double-digit taxes. Well, I'm about to keep checking on mine. Good thing we still young. Keep on checking. Yeah, we gotta stay on it. We got again. to. We got to stay sure, on. Dude. That's Shoot. for everybody. If you if you young, be on your taxes, man. Get that business. Don't slip going. behind, cause man, they catch you. Right, we got them. Right, we want them, man. Yeah, but it's just like everybody has that extra money they need after the check, and when you gotta pay taxes on top of your bills. And that's mm. why I don't get how y'all taking taxes. Then we gotta pay for shit. How we paying y'all taxes? And we y'all took taxes from me. And then on your income tax season, you get, like she just said, I only got $30 back. I don't think it's the hmm. same. The city taxes we pay, I don't think it's the same as the city taxes and that has to do with living in a different city than you work in. Oh, yeah. No, no. That's probably a whole different one. But hmm. to me, if I just work there, I just yeah. work there. God damn it. <laughs> Student loans. <laughs> one. Student loans. Student loans. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's another one, too. I got, I got a lot of student loans, you know? That's, yeah. a, that's a trap. Yeah, it that's is. A trap that's like a, fuck. Student loans is a trap. Mm-hmm. If you let it trap you, though. Yeah. It's still a trap. It is, you though. Go to it is. For four it, years just to take 15 just to get out of debt. Yep. It's pretty it's much. Trap. Pretty once, much, yeah, man. Yeah, once you get out of out of school, they like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they like, hey, we need our money. <laughs> he, do got oh, a lot of, he do got a lot to do with it. What? Trump being in office. We ain't going to talk about that man on this podcast. He, no, I'm just saying it was a comment oh, that sorry, was put what, there. What they say? Also, while Trump's in office, it messes up a lot. Messes up a lot. I think honestly, because he's he's like Trump don't honest, affect me. If you look at what Trump's doing, he's huh? he's Trump is literally taking people that are rich huh? and putting them in a better position than the people who need help. That's why we need to get up there. Yeah, but I'm I'm just saying like it's hold on. That's I'm a fact. Finish. Hate to say it's my black community out there. But believe it or not, Trump P, Trump is not really affecting our, our the, the mid class. Believe it or not, I can't speak for low class. I'm be honest. I, I grew up in a mid class family, mm-hmm. and I rise. We just got to go up there with them and get some of their juice, <laughs> shit, and then run their shit. Yeah, that's what we need to do. For real. we need to stop focusing on the low class. Like, oh, let's just stay low. Let's focus on getting up to the high class. You know, or create our own or high cre- class. Yeah, create our see, own see, high see, class. See, you, see you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And people get mad when I say that, but it's. It's the that's making truth. Room, that's making room for yourself. Thank you. The it's Black Panther is. Yeah. You know, Nowadays, Black being black, you have to create your. You got to create room for yourself. If you don't, we keep on looking up to them. Just, Please, guys, government, give us money, give us more raises. They're gonna be like, nigga, whatever, take your ass to work. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got to create our own. And I know it's gonna be hard. I know this is easy for me to say this and do it, but I, I have the mindset to do it. And I've been doing it. But you want to know? What's up? Well, I don't know how long we are gonna stay on this subject. Go for Trump, it. Trump is making it hard for a lot of people. He's he trying is. to take away Social Security. Uh-huh. He's trying to take away um, food stamps, wealth. He's take, he's trying to take away a lot. He's yeah. still trying to do that now. See, I don't read nothing about that man. I don't, and medical, I don't read nothing about medical, him, y'all. And medical vouchers. Really? Yeah. See, I don't read nothing. I, I do feel for the people that, you know, back in that, um, I don't know what it's called, the little thing we just had when all the federal workers got their jobs cut. I feel for those people. That's some yeah, tough shit. That's some tough shit. You know what I mean? People in those situations, yeah, that's <clears> fucked up. Yeah. But in general though I try not to read On nothing about him I don't watch the news Like every time I go downstairs I see the news on I just mentally block it out I don't, and, and I don't keep up with it And there's too many people Behind Trump They Trump is only The forefront guy it's, Yeah It's people who operate He's just the face He's the it's, face He's a clown it's people, people run him man. Who, Behind him Who's 
doing all of the show running you feel yeah. me yeah you could be the head of the circus but who are those people running the circus you feel me Ooh. and that's what it is the seats and everything yeah, i don't you know, know nothing about politics too much yeah, yeah. I don't, i'm not a big politic guy but i just know like the president is always just a face he's not the guy who can just write something like this is what the fuck it is yeah. you know it's like no the all these other groups the republicans the democrats the judicial shit yeah. all, all these systems have to agree with this before it happens yep. and right. all the stupid shit trump's saying it's obviously <laughs> all hey. these people are in agreement like go ahead yeah. just say whatever <laughs> yeah like fuck it go ahead do this all right cool we agree with it or or they're telling him this is what we want you to do he, and he just saying all right this is what he's a robot yeah. that's, he that's knows it but he's in it for the business he knows care about the people we care about himself nah. and I hate, that, I hate that people don't notice that yeah. he don't care about no we care about himself Man, he's, he's rich and he white he's rich <laughs> and white he's rich and white he's in the office just for a money scam huh. yeah. he didn't get in the office because he wanted to change he got in the office for money yeah and they say you have to have money to be in office yeah, yeah. 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 so it's like you can't go in there bro that's all of them you know and people behave when I say hey, oh. I don't really care about Barack Obama yeah. Yeah. like I'm just like he's he just a black guy who's in office but he's still up under white folks he was a brother he was, still he's he was a brother, brother, yeah, I was yeah. happy, but yeah. it was like he he's still up under a whole white <laughs> system, you yeah, know. Yeah, you could be a black face, but when you have a white system behind you telling you what to run or how to do it, uh, you, you said the honest truth. Yeah, I love him as a person, though. I love. Oh, uh, Barack was dope. Just that's, him as a person, he was dope. Yeah, that's why I don't get into politics, yeah, man. Nah, fuck politics. The, the truth hurts when you hear it, though, about politics. Well, you gotta realize when Trump got in the office, he fired everybody below him because those were the people who worked for Obama. You know he, he did fire with, a lot of people. He, yeah, he worked. He fired everybody who worked with Obama, and brought his own group in. Well, we should have expected that though. He he tried to wipe out Obamacare. I mean, see, he couldn't do it, but you should have expected that though. What that right. comment say? Uh, he uh, makes uh, his yeah. points and others follow through, yeah. if they agree, regardless right or wrong. He's a puppet in my eyes. What you were saying? A puppet. Oh, uh, she said she's a big fan of ours. Shout out to you, Jay. Hey, appreciate it, appreciate it, much appreciate, appreciate it. it, much love. And enough talk about Donald Trump. I don't want him to get too much time hey, on this here. All I got, is <laughs> yeah. all of them. This is all I got. Hey, hey we done. We canceled it this one. Hey, oh, to the next one. What's the second topic we talk? We talk about we talk about social media yet or no? No, we didn't talk about social media. We Y'all want to talk about first? Hell yeah. How do we even get on Trump? I don't even know. We just be talking, bro. Yeah, we, we do. How that is honestly though. Don't worry about it. Anyway. <laughs> All right, yeah, so uh, social, social media. media. Yeah, so what, what was the statement you were uh, um, talking about? It? I don't know. I find social media is very powerful. It actually affects our mental health, too. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we were not, let's face it, majority of us go on social media every day. Yeah. When we're bored, definitely when we're bored, and we just definitely. scroll. And before you know it, you're on it for 20, 30 minutes. And <laughs> you just see, it depends who you have. Like, like Calvin said earlier, though, it depends who you have on your social media as well. Mm -hmm. If you have people on there that's like minded, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to grow from it. But you have just a whole bunch of randoms on there. You're going to get their same energy they're throwing out there, believe it or not. Yeah. From the shit you read constantly, day by day, it's like a, it hypnotizes you in a way. Yeah, and phones are dangerous, period, let alone <laughs> yeah. social media. They're they're hypnotizing yeah you know the fact that you can be bored and just pick like you don't even think about looking at it but you just pick up your phone and go to instagram snapchat whatever and just start doing shit like you yeah. don't even think about it it's that hypnotic to the point where i'm just gonna be on you here know for 45 what? minutes it is hypnotic yeah <laughs> that's it's, it's the screens it's the screens the lighting on the screen is the reason why it's hypnotic why so I, I'm, I'm, I haven't done research in it. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100 percent sure, but it's what they do to the screens that causes you to be on social media and scrolling for hours. That's why when you go to sleep, they say turn the light all the way down because the light that they have right, on it here, keeps you up. it keeps you up. It tricks yep. you. Mm -hmm. So no, it's the worst. That's the worst Shit, thing. I sit mine on the table, uh, uh, far away, away from me. Yeah, so I don't. You smart man. I don't have my phone on my bed near me. I'm addicted to my phone. Honestly, yeah. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm straight up. I'm on it all the time. Posting social media. I'm on a network. I'm addicted but, to but it. But see, you do. Social at least you media you, and you have a business platform that you're using it for. Yeah, yeah. Man, nigga, you know. Yeah, I use my social media for honestly networking, but I do still get trapped on going on the, uh, the, the thing. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, but majority of my social media is presence. Y'all look at my page promotion yeah. videos you know highlights of my life that's it yeah. i don't really go in there to really you know just to be twiddling and liking shit yeah. and even at half the time you see stuff you don't even like it oh, you just man. skimming like you're literally skimming through stuff yeah and your life is just going away like that 30 minutes yeah. to go bad. Social media is good and bad. It's good because you can actually create something like how we're doing right now from it yeah or you can get trapped in it just 
the cycle the trendy cycle yeah social media is dangerous in so many ways yeah we're especially, making it good especially though. to our generation it's destroying us well the reason i say social media is dangerous is because when you look at the kids that we grew up with and the kids below us their their af- their affirmation is depending upon their social media reputation mm-hmm. oh who got the most followers likes yeah, yeah. like how, but, how many i got a hundred likes you gotta you gotta Ooh, pay got you gotta pay attention to these kids mm-hmm. they're following like four thousand people and they don't know more than half these people not yeah. even a third of these oh, people. they don't know a third so maybe i do that right now and be real but yeah go ahead that's dangerous <laughs> it though. is dangerous it is like yeah. you, you can't just you can't just mindlessly follow everybody you see Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You That's see some dude energy. with tattoos mm-hmm. and a gun and a bunch of money. You follow on them, like oh, I don't want no niggas on my social media. I, I don't follow everybody. Yeah. Like I've heard that, but it's just like, why are you following all these people? You're right, mm-hmm. and you wonder why you don't have your own mindset. Mm-hmm. And people, even if they follow you, you don't have to follow them back. Because there's been, I've been getting a lot of followers. That's what I've been I, doing. And I've been looking at their page, and I'll be like, uh-uh. I know I'm not gonna really look at your page ever in my life. <laughs> yeah. I read, I read, I'll read your bio. That's the first thing I read. I pay attention to people's bio. Really, I got look at, I look at the, I look at the yeah. pictures though. Pictures is key for me. If your thing say get money all 2019, <laughs> fuck all them hoes. Big I, big I, money I see talk. <laughs> stupid like gang gang. I'm not falling. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm, gang, I'm gang. gonna block you. Yeah, oh, it, see that. if you just have a bunch of emojis as your bio, mm-hmm. I'm blocking you. We got we we don't have too much in common. Hold on, what does this comment say, bro? Uh, so I got people here throwing bangers, man. I have nothing but peaceful things. Uh, see, shit, yeah. hold on, yeah, y'all. We read the comment. Read, hold on, hold read on. that one. That's a good comment, sign. I have nothing but peaceful things online, and when I see something that's out of my comfort zone or something that doesn't allow my aura and a good spirit away, I just delete it. Mm-hmm. And where we live, and where we live live at is the house number one, and where we live at is the number one sex trafficking place in all the states. Mm. Mm-hmm. A lot of young black women are missing. I want to say around 10% of young black women from as young as 12 through 22. Mm-hmm. I can touch on both of those. First thing, yeah, social media, yeah. If you don't, if you see smile there that's not your vibes, unfollow them. And when it comes to sex trafficking, I lived in Toledo. And personally, at the time, that was the number one city in Ohio. Toledo was, because we next to Detroit. They took me to Detroit. And that's wild to think that, you know, that shit happens, you know? Yeah. I, 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 that's all I can say about that. That's some wild stuff. People are foul. I mean, with social media, mm-hmm. a lot of... And I, I did a post on this. A lot of times when people get on social media, it's not for a purpose. It's just for entertainment. Mm-hmm. Like they get on social media and they follow all these people and they literally create this image of who they want to be mm-hmm. and who they want the public to see. But behind closed doors, they're nowhere near that specific. Image. You got to know yourself. You do. Before you get yeah. on social media, you mm-hmm. need to know who you, you are. You got to know yourself. Yep. You have to. Because think about it. All of these posts that you're seeing, you're watching these videos of people getting drunk in the background, you're watching videos of girls twerking, mm-hmm. you're watching these videos of people posting sexual comments on Instagram. Lust. Yeah. Like, you're posting videos. Like, I've actually had people, and these are not people I didn't know, these are my closest friends sending me sex videos. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, and it's just I, like sending me sex videos. Why are you sending me sex videos? <laughs> I mean, that is weird, though. When you think about it, like, hey, yo, Justin, look at this. <laughs> We're not in high school no more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say his it name, but it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't him engaging in sexual intercourse. <laughs> But it's still the fact. <laughs> That's foul. Like, don't send me no sex. Yeah, videos. like, who just out here? Yo, bro, I got this hot porn on here I found, bro. Like, Why you send another man a video? Like, yeah. Hey, that's questionable. If y'all like to, like to do that out there, that's on y'all. But me, don't send me shit like that. I don't need I don't to see nothing. I don't, I don't look it up no myself. <laughs> I don't think that's no different than showing a dude what he did to a girl. That's the I, same category. That's high school shit. That's high school, yeah. Yeah, like high school, our minds are immature. But as as an adult, <laughs> young adults, I don't want to see what you're doing. I don't care about your dingling. I don't care about them big ass titties she got. <laughs> I don't care nothing about none of that shit. We don't got to share nothing. If I get news, these my news. <laughs> you feel me? They ain't our news. I ain't about to be showing everybody everything. I just feel like people... Social media has become a, a an imaginary world filled with people's inner demons. You feel me? Wow! And it's it's just something that everybody clicks onto, but it's just filled with so much 
destruction and just chaos you feel me yeah. that everybody just puts in there you know if you having a bad day oh you just fought this person i'm throwing it on social media yeah man if that be boo, 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 you know now, i hate that though now people like that i don't follow i don't friend it, it's it's a lot that people just use it to vent and they think it's such a good way to vent and it's like no nah, you letting everybody into your personal life yeah you know like nothing's personal anymore we're very desensitized at this this state of time you know because like if you think we went back 200 years and we show you know natives this you know these killings and all this stuff. they're gonna be like well what is that that's the de- they're gonna say that's a demon yeah you feel me like they're gonna look at that like no that isn't right or even just showing them a porno like that's sacred that's true. they're gonna be like no that's you can't watch that that's you know true. like phones have become something that made people it's like taking the apple from the garden to eat mm-hmm. uh eden you mm-hmm. feel me it's like we bit this apple and now everybody's just biting it you know like all right take a bite you know everybody get a bite of yeah. this you feel me but i just feel like social media is such a it's it can be used for good but the way 90 percent of people use it is dangerous i was just about to yeah. touch on that i say you know it's social media i look at it as good and bad mm-hmm. me personally ain't gonna lie to you I'm the type of person still to this day. I'm gonna be honest. Go on Instagram and just be following people, trying to get my numbers up on my uh, social media and everything. I do it. I did it today. I'm be real. Yeah. But I, I look at it from a business perspective when it comes to me. But getting it end day, those people don't have to watch my shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's I'm starting to realize that numbers deeply don't matter. And I, I've been trapped in that for a long time, uh, worrying about numbers, people liking pictures, people interacting with my stuff because that that made me feel like, oh, they liking my stuff. Oh, they commenting. it. Oh, I'm the man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, yeah. not, I'm not scared to admit it. Shit. Yeah, no, you, you know what I mean? But now I use it for my own perspective. I post videos of how I feel of just me. If you, you can like it and you can not like it. I don't give a shit. I don't give a rat's ass. Yeah, but... I was in that trap for a long time. A lot of people yeah. are still in. They're scared to yeah. fucking admit it. It's a high because you feel yeah. like you said you feel you the shit when you get hey, this many likes, likes. And these people commenting. You, it's an ego boost. Yeah, yep. Your ego is boosted, but it's it's such a what is this really doing for you? What is You're it really like, doing? Yep. Until I see checks coming in from every fucking like, until I see a dollar bill for every yep. time somebody comment. I really don't give a shit. I don't shit. care. I like to meet people on there. I like to see the artists. That's why I follow mainly artists or inspirational mm-hmm. words or, you know, stuff of that nature because it, it inspires me. So that's why oh, I use social media because it, it, it inspires me, the people I follow and who I see or is friends. You know, I want to see how y'all life is. But when it comes to just every day, you know, or like how a lot of dudes looking at twerking videos, big booty My band stopped that. You feel me? A long it's, time ago. Yeah, it's just... It just depends on what people are using it for and who you personally are using it for. Because if it's your exes and stuff and you don't like them, you're doing it to be nosy and you just want to see who they dating, <laughs> turn your phone off. Delete Instagram. Yeah. I use it for good now, though. I'm I'm glad, though. That's how I got this podcast on social media. I was like, you know what? Instead of me seeing this stuff and me trying to live a custom in their life, fuck it. I'm living my life. Yeah. And they're going to get accustomed to it now. You know, I'm not trying to say I got a huge following, but... You got one. I got a following, you know what I mean? From yeah. just being me, simply putting my own content out there, my own feelings, my own vibes. No more just... I'm gonna post this picture for likes, you know. Now I do it for I'm gonna post this picture because I feel like the world needs this and I like this shit, you know. But yeah, social media can be good and bad, y'all. You can either market it in your own perspective and create brands like how we are out of it, or you can get trapped in it and just be a person on there. Um, my friend Jasmine wants us to tell her to draw something. She needs some vo- motivation, so she would like for us to tell her to draw something. Draw for, something for us, yes. Hmm. Can you draw us? <laughs> can you draw us like sitting right here up here and that could be like a logo or something yeah draw a logo yeah yeah this just she like do designs and stuff yeah she draws it all so oh okay yeah shout to jasmine she do designs and everything actually yeah you need to follow everybody i'm gonna po- start posting everything up so you, you can follow jay calvin so we can get things rolling you know sure. but, um and w- what's the third topic we was talking about we got one more topic we sure did forget about that topic but oh something i just want to touch oh, basically on social media i also have a detox period of social media you know i feel like that's something healthy or just to like he calvin i was like yeah i gotta re-download instagram he's like you gotta re-download it yeah <laughs> i gotta get off of it for a minute you know because i will just wake up and get on it or just be in my thoughts and just get the scrolling and it helps me to just limit myself like mm-hmm. don't 
don't let this be a distraction for you from you know facing what you got to face or the business you need to handle right now True. you're in a place where you you're making your moves make your moves don't be distracted don't let 45 minutes go by just because you want to look at <sighs> look at some pictures or something that ain't doing nothing for you you know so it's you know. a getaway sometime oh, hey, man, social media is a getaway <laughs> oh it is I, I, be, I was being in school studying I was like man I been my phone 45 minutes go by I'm like then it started hitting you like Justin you've been on the phone 45 minutes but yet you're not working on your goals yeah <laughs> what are you doing yeah and that's why I just say take a detox you know when ne- whenever you just feel like you just own it too damn much just take a detox fade away off of it and then then jump back in that's you know true. you might have some content you actually might want to put up or you feel inspired, like, all right, yeah, I had this photo shoot, or I got a new idea, you know, I want to showcase it, blah, blah, blah. I only really got one more thing to say. I mean, I got a lot to say about social media, but we ain't got that much time. But honestly, you are who you follow. Hell yeah. <laughs> you are oh, who shit. you follow. I'm you some are. everything, y'all. <laughs> no, but for real, like, I see what you mean. Getting on social everything. media can be good and bad. When I get on social media, there's nothing but influence positive influence mm-hmm. you can't go through any of my followers yeah and find somebody who's posting anything negative most of mm-hmm. my followers are celebrities and speakers yeah i don't even follow my everyday life friends and people that i actually hang out with mm. so when you get on social media it depends it depends on what you use social media for uh, mm-hmm. you right about that like i use social media for a business platform and a source of influence mm-hmm like I follow ministries and stuff on social media. I follow speakers. I follow people who are actually vocationalists. Mm. Like depending on what you follow, depends on what social media is for you. You're yeah. right about that. You're right. Because if it's a business on there, like you, how you use it, it can be something that when you get on there, it's like, all right, like you know I what actually, you have to do. I actually go to social media to get certain things. Some Especially motivation. when I'm looking for something positive. Social media is the first thing I go to because I know if I go on social media, a pastor has posted something that I pro- that nine times out of ten I can use yeah. for that situation in particular that I'm going through in that specific day. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It, it, right. depend, it depends on what you use social media for. Like you said, you are who you follow. You are who you follow. So if you follow a bunch of people, I don't like the word follow. <laughs> That's gonna pride me. Follow yeah, because <laughs> I don't follow anybody. <laughs> damn it. Think, think about the perspective in the word follow. Uh-huh. Yeah. When you click, when you go on somebody's page and you click follow, that's saying, okay, I want to know more about you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trailing if you're just behind going through smoke. following somebody because they're good looking or because they got a nice profile pic, yeah, ain't no What's substance. The purpose in it? You're right. Yeah, because most of the people I follow, I want to talk to you. Like, not on that level, just like, I want to converse. Yeah, like, converse. You know, like, you you feel me? Like, there's actually something about you that was like, man, you're different. You know, like, I I actually feel like I can connect with you in the real world. I haven't found that yet. Really? I have not not in my age group, no. I haven't uh, found that. Too. Yeah. My age group is kinda of iffy right now. We the iffy age yeah, group. Yeah, and it I has to be everywhere. Like yeah. there's not too like, many people who I'm just like in Cleveland been like, Yo, you from Cleveland? You feel oh, me? It's like those most of the wow, you're way out there. Face, mm-hmm. Most of the junk I saw on Instagram is just like it's demeaning, it's it's just like it's lowering your it's lowering your standards. When you follow somebody that's posting a bunch of nonsense, like oh, yeah. fights. That's true. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. It's like ignorance. Like that page, The Hood Graham. The, I, I don't know what that is. I heard you know. It's, it's a page. Y'all know about, about the hood, Graham? It's a page about fights. Like, why are you following that? Ooh, they fighting. Some I people get a thrill of that, though. Some people just love it when they fighting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they get no, like a, sure. yeah. Oh, beat on them. <laughs> like, hit them. It's like, <laughs> beat them up. I want you to hit them. If that's the type of stuff you follow, that shows what you're doing on your spare time. <laughs> beat them. <laughs> And it just shows what's going on in your spirit, because if that's what you're just going on every day, like you really must be frustrated. You feel me? Like you following this just to watch people fight? Man. Who you wanting to fight? Like wh- yeah. what's going on? Why are you so upset? If you don't care about your own growth, you're not gonna care who you follow. That's true. That's why I be saying I I do a little look. Let me see, because I get a lot of new followers now. Mm-hmm. But if if I really just see like we're on just two different scales, like I thank you for following me, but I'm not gonna follow you back. I do. Overall, got, I do got a question though. Go ahead. How many people feel like where you're at now 
you can't associate yourself with a lot of your friends that you used to be close with. Nah, you already know we're about to say, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, when you get hired, it's not my like, state of go ahead. mind. No, go ahead, go ahead. I'll wait. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Finish what you say, man. My state of mind now. Okay. When I start to talk and I start to elaborate on certain subjects, I go into certain dimensions when I talk. Mm -hmm. And it's just like when I'm talking to certain people, when I'm talking to you, I can feel if I feel like I'm dumbing down what I what I'm supposed to be talking about yeah. and what I gravitate towards. Because the stuff I gravitate towards is stuff people won't even reach for. They're like, what? <laughs> like energy, mental awareness, your spirit, your mind, your soul, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. People don't reach for that. Mm -hmm. So it's just like now, in my state of mind, I don't say much. I just sit back and listen and you'd be surprised on you how dumb a lot of the people I used to talk to sound. Like, uh, the stuff that they talk about and find entertaining, mm -hmm. you it's ain't nonsense at that level no, no more. more. It's nonsense to me now. You get older and you start to grow spiritually, mentally, and all that. Um, it's you gotta understand a lot of people don't. A lot, and actually, a lot of people do it at the same time, just at different stages. Like, the yeah. stage you're right now, they might come to 20 years from now. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all about different stages and the level, a level of consciousness. consciousness. It's different if I see progress, but when mm -hmm. you're doing the same thing over and over and over you fade out you naturally fade out yeah, that life you're like, like there's nothing even uh, why am I hitting you up you get my full True. attention when we first start talking but once you start talking about a bunch of crap bruh that's how <laughs> my ears go to mute I, I just I zone the hell out <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean by me like, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll be huh yeah what you say bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah man, yeah, uh -huh, man yeah. I feel you on that but you know I gotta make this yeah move. but you're in charge of what you do want to know I say I'm honest I'm honest I just don't respond what, what, what happened no somebody said you don't know what you don't know but the thing is what you don't know is what you don't want to know that's true like everything you're aware of uh -huh. if you don't read up on it that's your choice yeah that's yeah that so if you true. don't read up on mental health or spiritual health or mental development or these things that help you develop as an individual because at the end of the day all you have is you that's mm -hmm. it that is true so everything that's coming out your mouth and everything you're thinking about and everything that's on your heart that's what's gonna come out in conversation. No, it sure do. So what you talk about is it's literally what you are. Like a like a drunk man speaking truth. Yeah. You feel me? It's gonna pour out at that point. You know, well, that's and that's the best. That's the best time to talk to somebody. Oh yeah, when they get somebody under the influence of something. Y'all said that last time. Everything, <laughs> everything come comes out. It's like everything. It, it takes off that sensor. But you, you know the answer to that what they said at the, at the end of the day we don't know anything though. Believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day course. we don't know anything everything you learn you read up on yeah so what do we actually know and I was reading that book The Stillness Speaks and it got real deep two nights ago and it was like you know what you know how some people me, I, I used to do is when you have a dream you go look it up online and see the meaning of that dream and I've never I, I know what you're talking about yeah, I've never done it good good don't do that and somebody hit me like why am I seeking validation for somebody else to let me know how, how what my dream was about when it was my dream and it hit me like whoa why do we always seek validation? You know what I mean? We, it's, it's good to be knowledgeable of stuff, but it's like, it shows that we personally don't know anything though. We just know recycle information from other people. That's it. You know what I mean? That's, that's it. That's what we do. That's, that's all crazy. we do. And that's all I got to say. It's yeah. so, But it's so much nourishment behind what you just said. Yeah. I don't know why because you said it. just came out. We, okay, think about this. When we're, when we're born, mm -hmm. We don't know anything. All we know is that we're alive. And as yeah. you gradually progress in life and you get older, mm -hmm. you are what you talk about. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if your vocabulary is messed up, you're mm -hmm. always talking about drugs, alcohol, and sex. Mm -hmm. You're always talking about music videos and money and material <laughs> things. That shows me what you've read up on. Yeah, yeah. And to answer their question, because they said, oh, yeah. if you don't know that you need to know that you need to do these things, how can you know? Your your intuition will let you know, I always feel. Yeah. If you don't hold yourself accountable to growth, you won't know nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you won't even attempt. Yeah. To, you're right. you're not even, your surrounding uh -huh. and influence will tell you what you need to know. Yeah. 
and you got to feel that want to change like i feel like that's a part of growth you yeah. know once you start yeah. to understand like what the fuck what once you start hitting those moments those <laughs> wtf moments yeah yeah with yeah. the world around you and like why am i watching this just like porn you feel me like if you just was watching it you're just like what the fuck am i watching and then you just cut it off or you smoking you're like i really don't like this you know i'm just <laughs> yeah. doing this because everybody yeah. else is yeah. doing it or drinking that's holding yourself accountable yeah accountability accountability you starting to grow at that point because you're just like you're recognizing who you are and being like you know yeah. these these actions are what was fed to me not what yeah. i want to eat i'm i'm eating it i'm choosing to but this isn't the plate i want to dig from the so. journey of the unknown yeah even in even in what you're fed you still need to hold yourself accountable to oh, yeah. learning new things and accountable to just to who you are Mm -hmm. like you eventually got to get sick of being the same person Every even day. if you don't know something better you will eventually get tired of who you are and being the same every single day and no change nothing mm -hmm. coming you're gonna your get life. bored as hell real you gotta, quick you gotta when you get bored, bored listen when you get bored with life that's the best time ever though because it, it forces the, you exactly <laughs> it forces you to break out that comfort zone just so yeah. when you don't yeah, know you do you yeah. try a new shit when you tradition mm -hmm. tradition tradition Yep. Mm -hmm. You get that's that from where we're born. Nothing changes. It becomes tradition. It's it's all you know. Just like if you just work out every day at the same time. Sometimes it's good to shake it up. Mm -hmm. You know, like, yeah. you know what? Today I'm going to do this. And work this time I'm going to go time. here. You know, just switch your world up for a second. You know, you're so used to casually doing, living by a schedule. Life isn't meant to be a schedule. Life that's, is just to be free for I, I hate well. living by a schedule, man. That's when it becomes mindless is when it's a schedule. Yeah, yeah Because man. it becomes routine. It's what yeah. you're used to. Yeah. It, it's life. You know, yeah. that's that's how we're, you know, working a job. You know, <laughs> all right, I, I, I eat at this time. I sleep at this time. I got to go to work at this time. I come home and do this at this. It, our lives have been so structured and, you know, that's what we just become used to. We have to break those walls within ourselves mm -hmm. just to be like, I'm going to shake some shit up this summer or I'm going to shake it up today. You know, I might just draw or I'm just going to sing, you know, just do something mm -hmm. random. We got an That's interesting true. comment. Uh oh, okay. okay, go ahead. Remember, you weren't always where you are now. If you move forward, reach back and help those that don't know. Don't judge. Reach that, back man. and help them to understand. Ooh. That's what this podcast is for. That's what this podcast is yeah. for. This is deeper, man. We, this is we timeless were there. knowledge. Yeah, yeah. We were there. Yeah. We all have been. That's why we talk about our past experiences. You talking about you used yeah. to smoke and stuff. Me yeah. talking about you used to be a sex addict. Yeah. We talk a lot about our past yeah. because we want to help influence just be like we're not better than you in any way we are you yeah. you know <laughs> like, we're, like we're the same as you yeah. like you can you're gonna get past these these situations that's you know it just takes time like i tell you you're watching this you're watching this for a reason yeah that's one thing people do get confused though mm -hmm. judgment and accountability are two different things yeah no nah. judging is being like Look at his weak ass. <laughs> like, you know, he can't do shit. Accountability, in there. They, people get those confused all the time. Yeah. Like, if I'm holding you accountable for something, people often get it so confused. So, what's the difference so they can understand? Like, between holding the two. you accountable is, t is making you take responsibility. Judging is just stating my own opinion. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm judging you, I can say this doesn't match. Mm -hmm. But holding you accountable would say, hey, you're this age. I think you should change your attire. Right, right, right. That's right. what accountability is. That's not judging. Mm -hmm. But right. saying, ah, oh, bro, this is a lame outfit. I that's, might, that's you'll judging. buy me some more clothes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's yeah. judging. Uh, 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 judging creates conflict. Yeah. Accountability upholds responsibility. It that's sure true. Do. Like saying, yeah, the podcast starts at this time. We expect you to be here at this uh, time yeah. to get yeah. here on time so we can start on time and do this. Fact. Judging would be me. His dumb ass <laughs> is never here because he always doing this stupid. I bet he out here messing but, with these but females. What, what, blah, that's blah. not the truth, though. That don't sound like judgment, though. But we don't know what he was, what pre okay. people are really doing. You feel me? I like, it, emergency could have happened, could have been this, but we judging based on previous actions <laughs> what could be happening. But uh -huh. holding him, holding this part, uh, people <laughs> accountable. <laughs> <laughs> holding people accountable you know what they say no right <laughs> understand the trends that people do and what you do as well the patterns yeah. the, the patterns the patterns, yeah. patterns man. I don't yeah. know so <laughs> is that really judgment though that's what I'm trying that's why I say is that what really judgment people show you consecutively is not judgment that's actually fact yeah it's factual <laughs> that's actually we fact judgment because it's facts. yeah like Cause I, that's what I'm saying. It could be one of them. Like I bet you're gonna be late because yeah, that's not just you. That's what you show. Yeah, yeah, you shown. 
I don't know. That's 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 a good. One. See, we that's I, good, see that's, that's where we get one. we put titles on stuff too much, which is why it confuses yeah. us. Just say how yeah. you feel and don't care. I read this, I read this book. I read a lot of these books. I'm sorry, but they they say like pretty much say how you feel. It's up to it's how the other person takes it is on them. It's not on you. Perspective. As long as you say it from your yeah. intuition, you mean good yeah. about it. If they yeah. take it mean or ignorantly, that's not that's up a, to you. that's not up to you. Yeah. Not up to you. you don't. I have can't control, control at that point. Yeah, I don't have control you can of your control feelings. What you say, but you cannot control how somebody responds. Boom. Yeah. And words shouldn't control you to that point where you're getting upset anyway. They're just words. You feel yeah. me? Especially if they're speaking honest. It's a way you could say it, but if you take it to the point where you upset, words words ain't bullets, yo. It's not gonna pierce your skin. It's a lot of words. people say they do though. Yeah, a lot of people say words could be the most. Some for sometimes words could be very painful though. Oh, for they can be very painful. Yeah. But a lot of times they're painful. They're truths. Yeah, buddy. I think yeah. words only hurt people when they're premeditated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you've thought about it for a while and you know exactly what to say to hurt somebody. Mm-hmm. That's when words hurt. But like I say it's them truths at that point. <laughs> it you, is true. You, you, yeah. you speaking, you just held those truths like, in for oh, so long. Shit. But like, oh, you pissed me off. I'm about to tell you everything. I'm <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, so at yeah, that like, point, it's like yeah. okay, but it's kind of like it's your you're in the wrong because you should have been said that. It's, right. it's like both mm-hmm. the people are fake. When you think about the same time, I was like, you should have said something, and for you to get mad they said that means it must be true <laughs> so it's like you know what I mean yeah, it's, it's like, a mutual thing it's a mutual it's, wow. it's, it's kind of like this <laughs> like y'all just hit a wall with each other alright all right, bro let's yeah, just throw like, thing on the it, table it's just that alright we gotta just voice this and dap up and be cool after it communication is a big thing that's something that's lost now especially with social oh. media social mm-hmm. media is one of the biggest factors of of awkwardness between people between social norms are just not even social norms that's, anymore we can't even talk as people anymore that's it's awkward it's, it's even, awkward you remember around somebody you talk hey what's up they be like they look yeah. you all awkward like bro yeah, you good like, hey, like, but on social media hey let's yeah they hype you know it's it's that's be- communication sucks now because people <laughs> don't care about understanding nobody they just want to state what they want and that's it they don't listen yeah. Nobody listens. They no, just, you just okay. Want, you just want to say what you want to say. It's like, no, I hear me, yo. And there's a few people who I just can't talk to no more because all you want to do is vent about you. But then when <laughs> I, 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 yeah, that's how I be. <laughs> then I'm saying something and it's like, yeah, so as I was saying, and it's like, I hate people right. do that. Or, yeah, you know, I was thinking, blah, 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 and then I was going through this. Uh, all right. You see, I'm, right. you're not listening to it. It's, it's not a connection then at that, that case. And when it's not a connection, and that shows with a lot of, you know, quote unquote friendships, you know, like if you got to cut yeah. people off. You, you do. You got to learn when Face people it. are just not on your level of existence. Yeah. And, you know, they're just kind of. That's those, hard. It's that hard. But it's very truth. hard. A lot of people struggle with separating their emotions with that. That's me. I'm one of them people. I keep oh, people on the. So I keep hard. them on the table, and I'm like, no, this, this is gonna be a time. You feel and me? No, but it's you, just like, oh, that's so you hard. gotta, you gotta, you gotta let them go. It's you gotta all pick and choose. Who you it'd be hard. It'd be hard to cut people way. off, but once you do it one time, you love it after that. You sure do. You be cut, like, cut, I'm cut, glad cut. I snipped the cord off for you. Yeah, you I, I thought cut some toxic people in my life. I just I don't like I don't even allow toxic people in. I will associate in a way to feel your vibe. But once yeah. I feel that toxic energy. No, 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 no. Vanish. Where'd Justin go? <laughs> he on Instagram, no? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know a, a topic for next week of relationships. That's something we got to talk about. For Healthy sure. relationships. Toxic relationships. Calvin is a master when it comes to that stuff, y'all. That's <laughs> what he know he is. <laughs> and look, our first podcast session together, he was here dropping some gems about relationships and everything just going crazy with we it. Gotta, we got to talk about relationships because that's something... To, I don't know. That's just everybody's main focus in life right now. Their whole existence is about relationships. Well, yeah. I have to show. Okay, we said next week. Then. Next week. Yeah, we yeah, said, yeah, we yeah, next week. Next week. Next week. <laughs> That's uh, all right. I feel like it'd be a good way to bring it in. As always, let's end this off with a good note, man. That's a choice, what? though. Oh, go ahead. No, it's, it's, somebody put, some people are addicted to toxic people. Cause they toxic. That's obvious. Yeah, that, that's a choice. It takes one to know one. Takes one to be it one. Takes one to know one. <laughs> Shit. Toxic per. If you know, well, no. Some people don't know. Yeah, I'm about to say. Person. Cause like, sometimes some you are just literally in complete denial about who they are. They know though. 
I thought everybody deep down knows though. They yeah, know, they but know. know, but it's harder to yeah. accept the truth than uh, no, nah, 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 no excuses for y'all. Fuck that. They know, Calvin. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Listen, they know. They just hate to. People know when they're a fucked up person. It don't take me for me to tell you who Actually, you are. You know what? You're right. They know because when you know the truth and you don't like it, you run from it. You yeah. run from it. Yeah, it, it's a state of comfort that they hide in. You know, yeah. security. comfort. Yeah, security yeah. keeps you with the fucked up in a fucked up situation. Yeah, I'm not letting people like that get past. Uh, uh-uh, I'm no. done with that. They don't know. They know. No, honestly, they do. And in, in their hearts, they know, but they just, their mind always feeds them. Other. But he did this for you. Or she, she's like this. You know, you like this about her, but it's like, no, accept the fact they're toxic. Yeah, man. You know, that's the first step, accepting that they're toxic. And, you know, thank, shout out to Jeremiah because he was one of the first people to tell me in this relationship, he like, oh, no, she's toxic. Y'all both are toxic for each other. <laughs> he kept it very blunt. I'm, and I was like, no, nah, man, yeah. we ain't that bad, bro. We cool. Like, we, we, handle, it, we handle all that. You at home, it's like. And I was, it just dawned. It was just in my spirit because I knew, but it was just the fact someone confronted me that's, on a real note. That's so respectable. That's respectful as fuck. Mm-hmm. And that was my dude. I always say he was the first one to tell of, me in this relationship. A lot of times when you tell somebody the truth, and when it's somebody you care about and they don't listen, you get offended and you get upset, but you can't control what somebody doesn't want to take in. And that's why I didn't get upset. I just took it. I'm like, like I gave excuses, but I wasn't the same. It was just one we of those like, excuses, you though. excuses. Like, whatever. Nah, yeah, yeah, like, nah yeah, man, yeah. It ain't that bad. I played it off, but it was like, nah. Deep down, he's right. like, it is that bad. Nah, it was it. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is that bad, man. He planted the seed and walked away. He ain't worried about it. Hey, that was up to nah, That's yeah, the guy he is. You want Jeremiah to get right? Yeah, that's yeah, kind of guy's like he is. That's my dude. Blunt. He don't care. He said, hey, dude, this what it is. Like, oh, shit. And leave you thinking. He knows. <laughs> hey, that's, what hey, I that's want. good people to have around though, man. Hey, hopefully you get make it to the podcast one day because yeah, we be having some good conversations. Like Dope. that's brother for real. But yeah, everybody in toxic relationship, you know it's toxic. Especially when you're not if it's not like how you expect your wife to treat you or your husband to treat you or how you would like to be treated, you know it's not a good relationship. That's not the relationship for you. There's signs, there's red flags all the time. We just throw those red flags away, and we just like, nah, that's just a pass. He cool, <laughs> you know. No, man, she did that one time. This, this comment, what's up? <laughs> but you're talking about letting toxic people go, and sometimes you don't even recognize that a person is toxic. You recognize it? <laughs> you don't, I'm, go I'm, ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna answer this one. Go ahead. So, in rec, in, when you don't recognize that a person is toxic. There's only one answer to this. Because somebody that you're not emotionally attached to, it's plain and simple. It's it's red, yellow, and green. Now, when you're emotionally attached to somebody, when you, if you don't understand that they're toxic, it's because you choose not to understand because you care about that person. So when they do something wrong or they're showing you toxic behavior, you overlook it. Mm-hmm. It's easy to ignore something that somebody's doing and it's not right when you care about them. Because you care about it, so you're willing to you're willing to compromise. You're willing to accept what you know you shouldn't. It's just like relationships with family. When your brother disrespects you, with an ordinary person, that ain't you either cut yeah you <laughs> you either cut them off or you let it slide. Yeah, yeah. But with family, you have to let it slide, and you have to overlook it. Right. And understand, okay, they said that, but they don't mean it. This is my, at the end of the day, this is my brother, mm-hmm. and he's gonna be in my life. Right. So answering that question, it's just like, if you don't recognize that somebody's a toxic person and you don't care about them, mm-hmm. that means you're that means you're choosing not to see it. Because you're not your judgment's not clouded. Mm-hmm. If you ju- if you just meet a guy and you hang out with him, would you be able to tell if he's toxic or not? Not toxic, but I'd be able to tell if the energy don't match. If the energy is not, you know, like, hey, this guy seems a little sketch. You yeah. Know? Yeah. But I can't say toxic, though. Maybe not toxic, but you're yeah. going to see the red flag. The red flags. You're going to see red flags. You're going to see certain things that maybe said, you know, he could be on the phone, his mommy, like, man, bitch. <laughs> Whoa, what? Yeah, you can see the red flag. Yeah. That's a toxic person. You feel me? It's signs that come out, you know. You find <laughs> out who's toxic by what they say. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. That's it's, true. It's, it's, it's acts. So you, you <laughs> can't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> when they talk, they're telling you they're toxic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first, I'm toxic. The first day y'all kicking, talk talking to about his dick. <laughs> you like, what the hell going on? I did, we, we said apples and berries. You then you sliding bananas in your dick in there. Like, what? You know, it's it's certain things that come you out. You can't <laughs> miss a toxic person because when they talk, it's either going to make your stomach hurt. <laughs> You go get uncomfortable, or you gonna want you gonna want to tell them to shut the hell you up. You gonna hit one of these. You, <laughs> you gonna double take like, all right, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, you gonna double take that ass a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you say? You know, toxic, I'm gonna touch in on that real quick. So I went to um this panel right to talk to these youth, and one of the questions came about. I wasn't really able to answer it, and they a lot of youth deal with toxic family members, right? And I, I got a question for y'all. How would you deal with a toxic family member? No, oh, you don't want to know that. Oh, okay. <laughs> do I deal with the okay. toxic? Yeah, how will y'all? Because personally, I can't really hear. Because mine yeah, is let, quick. Yeah, let you go. True. Yeah, how do I deal with toxic? Here. Toxic, toxic family, family member. Yeah, I cut them off. So, what do you mean by that, though? Like, you just simply just stop talking to them, or go ahead. Literally, <laughs> it's go what on. you said. Uh huh. <laughs> so I, I have I have toxic family members, <laughs> and I have toxic family members in my immediate family. But the thing is, with me, mm-hmm. okay. I'm going to break this down just a little bit. Go I've been it. through enough with being with having a toxic life and a, and a toxic behavior. So when I see other people that are toxic, I can't afford to allow you to stay in my life and associate myself with you knowing what you did reminds me of what I did mm-hmm. and it could possibly put me back to what I've done before. Mm-hmm. After you've been through so much and your life's been toxic for long enough, you don't tolerate other people. <laughs> That's true. Even even if it's family members, I have a lot of toxic family members in my family. Wow. And guess what? You can't avoid them, but you don't have to associate you with sure them. You sure don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I okay. can't wait. To, uh, keep going, Kyle. I'm ready I to have, say, mine. I have family members that live in different cities. Ooh. And guess what? When I see them, it's what's up, how you doing? <laughs> and all serious. That's it. Yeah. Because I know if I stay here and I associate myself with them, I'm going to either get upset, they're going to say something dumb, or they're just going to start doing stuff that's immature. Like, I have aunties and uncles that tick me off with some of the stuff they say. I even have cousins, older cousins, that drive me crazy hearing them talk. So, with family members? He said, y'all get no pass. Yes, you can cut off certain family members. You sure can. You can. Now, is that hard for you to do though? It definitely, when it comes to definitely immediate family. No, because I I know it. It's not hard because after a while it gets tiring, even with your family. Yeah, because it gets tiring. Mm. It it is hard for certain people if you don't have that will, you know, because certain people do like like toxic people they keep themselves in those situations but well, that's my mom because your parents could be toxic you feel me i know people whose parents are toxic to their children it, and it's it it's hard tiring. yeah it's tiring you get to you points can. where you ready to cuss them the fuck out like you they <laughs> mama or they daddy you feel me to and it just it has to come to a point especially if you're at that age and you living and doing your own thing yeah. let mama and daddy do what they gotta do i'll see you on christmas you know, I'm going to be there. I, hey, happy birthday. You feel me? I'll come around and, you know, make a little cordial. I still love you, mm-hmm. but it has to be a, a separation. Okay. Like, for me to just be, every time we talk on the phone, we arguing. Right. Why am I going to keep talking to you on the phone? <laughs> you feel that's me? True, like, true. we don't even need to keep going through this. You exactly. just stay, you stay, do your thing on your lane. I'm going to swerve on the highway. You feel me? That's true. So, you pretty much saying love them from a distance. Yeah, love them yeah. from a distance. Okay. It's, it's, it's a respect. It's mutual, but... When it just comes to the point where I'm flustered and my spirit is burning every time, yeah. it's not healthy because so, it's no, it's not a love relationship at that point. So that time you're just stirring something. Inside. Yeah, that's like just, I'm that's just, not safe. yeah, wow. and that's your family, you yeah, know. Yeah. Like that's a these are loved ones. Yeah, these people you. supposed to be the closest people you got, and I'm I'm pissed at you. <laughs> like I'm ready to swing on you, pissed. Like it's not healthy. So. Even really? it don't matter how close you are, Somebody's sometimes you got to. Somebody watching is asking you to respond. Who, me? Literally, somebody watching said, Justin, please respond. Honestly, I can't respond. I don't have any toxic family members. Uh, my immediate, I, I, my family is very small. It's my mom, my dad, my aunt, my grandma, my granddad. Mm-hmm. That, that's it. 
And I can't say anybody's toxic. I thought my thing was, I can't say anybody's toxic to be real because I've been gone for seven years as well. So I've been on my own. You had that distance. I had that distance. And that distance it's, actually made us it's, stronger. It's different. Yeah. It's different. See, I went to college for seven years. I just came back. You learn to appreciate that time that you've my missed. So it's, you really don't I'm have as much time to... Style. Yeah. Not come into conflict, but you don't really have that much time. You don't have enough time to see somebody rub you wrong. Yeah. It's just pure enjoyment in that moment. Yeah. yeah. I was going so long. Like people, I couldn't answer. That's why I asked y'all that question because I went to the panel and they asked me that question. I just, I got quiet. I'm like, you know, I've been on my own for seven years and I, I haven't, my, my family supports everything I do. I mean, there probably is some members of my family that are toxic, but I don't, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. They didn't come across me in a toxic way, so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So I'm blessed for that. Honestly, be real, and I'm gonna keep running with it. But it's easier. Yeah. It's, it's easier to see if somebody's toxic when you hang. It's easier to see when your family members are toxic when you hang around them a lot. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you have to encounter them pretty frequently to understand. Yeah. Yeah. My parents. I mean, they've been. Hey, man. As long as you're doing your thing and it's making you happy, fuck it. Keep it going. Yeah. Definitely all the amount of success I obtained in Toledo. They're like, hey, bro. <laughs> we ain't about to bother it. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it going. So, and simply yeah. being focused on you can distance you from family. What? What can? Simply just being focused on you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Handling yeah, yeah, your yeah, business, yeah, yeah. Well, it'll like, push you away because yeah. you like I ain't that, got time for that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's been that's literally what's been keeping me at a distance. <clears throat> I've been so focused on me. It, I just seen when she responded back. Uh, who was that? I can't remember your name. But yeah, I, it's, I ask that question a lot. I don't know how to answer it. I felt weird for not knowing how to answer that question. I was like, oh shit, I almost seem like I'm some, you know, just. So I just got together. Here's a question. What's up? So if you have friends that are toxic and you tolerate I them, that one. then how can you tolerate blood? How can you not tolerate blood? I can't explain. I cut off all toxic people. Toxic so. behavior is toxic behavior, no matter who it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you're toxic in your family there still comes to a point where you have to draw the line and say, all right, look, if you don't get it together, I can't do this. And if, if you pushing, if you putting yourself through that toxic toxicity, you're, you're putting, <laughs> <laughs> like you're, you're deciding to be there at that point, you know, yeah, like you can family choose, or whoever. Yeah, you yeah. can choose what you deal with. Yeah. Um, that every day you're supposed to like, I understand family is family, but family contradicts the meaning of family. Mm hmm. Especially how bruised and battered our families are. Like our families, we have beat a lot up of, on each other more than we protect each other. There's a lot of abuse uh -huh. in families. So it's just yeah. like shit. What what is a what is a, what's the real definition of family? Because what we see nowadays is not the definition of family. That's what I said. My friends are mainly my closest family. That's real. You know, because like, they know me better no than my likes, family. No one likes to hear that, though. Yeah, no, they Parents, don't. Oh, my they bad. can't <laughs> stand that. Yeah, no. Nah, because they're like, I gave birth to you. I did this. I, I took care of uh, you. Yeah. You gave birth, but you don't pay attention. You don't know me. <laughs> uh, you don't pay attention. <laughs> you don't know me at all. I have to act different around you See, than when I'm with look, my people. I'm about to play around glass on this one. Why do you do that, though? Because I can't be myself. Why can't you? They don't because accept it. They, who cares though? It's, it's not. Yeah, I it's, ask myself about my parents now all the time. Man. I ain't trying to say I be going around, you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? But hey, it, you have to. It's was was been shown over time, you know, because mm -hmm. okay, certain people who are in our group, you just accept them. That's just them. Yeah. You feel me? Sometimes your family don't. Ex they don't want to accept that, you know, mm -hmm. because they, when they see it, they'll say, right, "What's wrong with you? Yeah. Why are you acting <laughs> like that? Yeah." <laughs> And they don't try to talk to you like a friend might be like, yo, you got hey, a little you different today. You cool? How, how, how hey, you feeling? Like, hey, yeah. <laughs> what's yeah. going on with you? Like, yo, 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 parents could just be like, you acting stupid as fuck today. I'm sick of your attitude. Oh, and then it's just like, well, you didn't even try to talk to me to see what's wrong. You That's come? because it's hard for them to un to try and understand something that they're not used to mm -hmm. and they don't and that's the part of that's what creates that barrier between kids and parents you know because it's like well i can't go to them and talk to Ooh. them like how i would love to be able to invent yeah. to them and be vulnerable i have to shield myself you know it's yeah. like a i'm in a in a, in a protective zone you know right, my, right. my guard is up because i haven't had those instances where it was like what's wrong you know or right, just a right. simple hug you know that caressing you know just simple this, things that show 
I can be this with you. It's right. a, it's like an attack, you know. Even if they give you a hug, you still kind of like, <laughs> what you doing? Mm-hmm. You know, like it's yeah. crazy how touchy the subject is, though. It is yeah. touchy. It <laughs> is. It is. Yeah. Like if we were to sit, if we were to sit in front of parents <laughs> and talk about this. <laughs> No, so that'd saying, be good though. No, yeah, it would yeah. to us. To us, it would. Y- you right. But to parents that were born, ooh, squirmy feeling. Growing up, it's so uncomfortable because it's like, okay, what I know is what I know, and this is right. So, <laughs> what I see you doing is not what I'm used to. They mm-hmm. give it not what I count. Yeah, and I, but I've been born for forty years. Mm-hmm. You're only ten years old. Why are you acting like this? Mm-hmm. And by the time they're sixty, you about twenty five. So it's just like, okay. Mm-hmm. Times have changed. Thief. I'm 60 years old. I don't got to put up with this. I'm not going to put up with this. Yeah, That's what they're going to say. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to. Yeah. And it's just, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's and difficult. I talk, I talked to my cousin about this in the last podcast. And mm-hmm. I asked her, I was like, so why is it that the parents that are born in like 1960s? Because that's around the, that's it's around the time yeah. my parents are born. Same. Mm-hmm. Why are they so why are they so quick to eradicate our eradicate kids? And this is like they don't want they want us to change, but they don't want to understand. And you know what she said? What? Just take a wild stab at it. It's it's crazy, but it makes so much sense. I can't even tell you. They're older. Mm-hmm. That old shit don't work in twenty nineteen though. Yeah, but that's our generation though. Yeah. They're that's older. Our, yep. They're older. They're fifty years old. They're going into their sixties. Mm-hmm. It's hard to treat that, uh, teach that old dog new tricks. It's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is just, it's just like if they were to actually try to understand. When you think about it, it probably would be stressful for them. They're not in our times on that. At that yeah. point, they're like you said. They're older, so they yeah. can't even relate to life has happened. Oh man, you know, we're like very they enlightened. Can, they can't really relate to like okay he's feeling this he's going through these different stresses you know like they're in that i've been working i've done this this is where you got to do to get (laughs) this is what my life was you see i'm six this is my level of success you can have this too if you do this so they can't really grasp like we're especially we feel a lot more you know like we're a feeling generation like we feel the stresses of the world and society they just dealt with it so us feeling to them dealing is way two different uh, tides of the cr- uh, two different tracks. You feel I me? I feel every. So do you lit. feel like they're trying to live? What some some parents are trying, or whatever, trying to live through us in a way. If mm. since you guys saying it in that way, you think they're trying to live through us? You think through that? I think they want to understand, but it's so hard for them to grasp because they don't really know how to grasp. It's it. out. It's out of their reach, dude. Yeah. Like, mm. How these kids act, what we're doing, the way we think, mm-hmm. it's totally different from 1960. That's why I just said different time periods. Yeah, yeah, for crying out loud. With them, $5 went so far. And this is just a simple example. I, 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 stay on this because I need to say something. $5 went so far with them. Five dollars barely can get you anything now, <laughs> and they don't understand that we are broke at this generation and how we are now. They like, and, man, but, but now think about age, it. I bought a car. How? <laughs> how am I gonna buy a car? Think, think about this. <laughs> and th- this is touchy, but I'm gonna touch on it because I know this. In this podcast that we do, we try to speak nothing but truth. Parents growing up, they didn't have school. Mm-hmm. Follow me. Now. It's to a point where we're put in a position. You don't have to go to school, but you're less likely to succeed. Mm. And parents are pressing children to go to school so much. The children go to school and get their degree. But you know what happens? They're on their ass. They're in debt. They're in debt. Now they're trapped. And most of the time, they went to school so fast. Now they, they don't even want to do what they went to school for. So when they go back, mm-hmm. they're oh, tired dead. by then. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's why they go straight through. And it's just like, yep. what parents know, and this is my point, what parents knew then mm-hmm. is the only thing they can hand down to us now because they're not aware of nothing that goes on now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the time frame is so it's so different. You can't it's compare it. It's way different. It's beyond, man. I feel like if people in that generation accept it for what we are, what we do, it'd be good. It's and, hard. It's hard yeah, to because it's hard. different. It's like, <clears throat> it's like I don't know. Believe it or not, though, I thought like we're gonna do the same thing though. 
Yeah. To, to a certain degree. Yeah, believe it or not, though. Yeah. I, but good thing we're aware of this, though, so hopefully we don't bring that into the future. But that's that's where our awakenings come from because yep. we see the flaws and it's like it's up to us to make a change. Because when we have children like me and Zaria, I talk to her all the time. What's going on? When she's mad, I talk to her when she's mad. That's good. That's good you know, man. like I didn't get that. Go to your room was what I got. Well, I'm, about <laughs> your ass, ass. Yeah, I'm about to whoop your ass. I don't do that. Like, no, nah, all right, take your moment. Be mad. I'm going to talk to you in a minute. You feel me? So it's just how you handle situations, you know, because even like my grandparents, my grandma tell my sister, oh, you got tattoos. That's not ladylike. That's uh, not ladylike hey, at all. The grandparent generation uh, is judgmental. Though. But, it, but you <laughs> just see how that's passed down. Cause my that's mom 30, was like that at first. Yeah, it's passed down to the yeah, it's it's more it's what passed. they know. It's what but they know. Listen, you when you got the old folks, they judge. <laughs> They don't yeah, care. They do. They, they judge, judge and they say this is how uh, this is how we ladies gotta act. This is how okay. men gotta be. This is not 19, 20, 19, <laughs> well, 30. Wait, wait, wait. And that says so much. Uh-huh. We say that to our parents now. Mom, I understand how you were raised, or dad, I understand <laughs> how you were raised, but you better stop trying to no, raise how you. you were raised because it is not it's the right not, way. It's not the right way. It doesn't, it does I don't know if it's enable you. Uh-huh. It doesn't put you in a position to succeed. No. When you put the standards on how you were raised on me, you actually cripple your own child. Oh, yeah. Because times are different. So what you did that worked will not work now. Stop having expectation for these kids and how you think it's supposed to be you done. You have to let your kids be free. Let them grow. Solid wisdom is solid wisdom. You can you can give them don't yeah, wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Yeah, certain things but tell them. You can't. You can't try to push them to grow like this. You have to just, this is what I think might be best, but it, I'm going to just tell you, I have to let you learn by yourself. Like Will Smith and Jada Pickett with their kids. People oh don't like it because they're not free. They let them let their kids. They People let hate them that. kids do whatever. People they, hate that. Look at how woke they are. It's beyond woke. It's ridiculous. And they, they so found themselves. They're, weird. they're, like, oh, they're they too are. weird. No, they're just no. themselves. Those it's are. ridiculous. <laughs> and they, they're a good staple for what black families, sh- you know, should watch. Oh, you know, yes. like they, we need to see that. And especially for them to be younger than us. like Solid individuals. You know, and they're solid. Like they can solid run their own companies, you know, like just talking. They could be on this podcast and probably have more. They could say probably more than all three of us together. I would love to have them on this podcast. I would, lo- I would love oh, it. I love it. I would, I would love that. I would love it. <laughs> see, I'd I mean, be like, come on. I don't care how old you are. You got some wisdom that I don't know. Come on. Yeah. You could be 18, 17, 68. It's something you yeah. I don't yeah. care. I don't With- give a shit. But they're in tune. That's the yeah, thing. I, they're I, in I, tune I with I themselves. Love, yep. I love new. And that's another thing. Men and women that were born in 1960, they cannot stand new perspective. Oh, no. They can't stand it. I think they will be able to because they went through the hippie phase, the 70s, you know, 80s. I thought, I thought, you know, I honestly think the people who was born that era would be most woke, but... They had a, the, the only thing that was different, they went through a phase. Oh, we're going through, like, what do you think we're going through? We're going this through the whole I'm current. Mm. Like, it was a phase because you think, all right, it was the, a phase. the hippies and fits, you know, they was it was hey, a hippie yeah, phase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then it became, all right, we got to get jobs. Yeah, oh, yeah, you're all right. All right, we got to work. We got to provide for family. And they tried to throw us, hey. I was about <laughs> to say, you can't, you can't look at 1960s, 70s, 80s. 90s 2000s you, you can tell mm-hmm. that it's you could tell that it was starting to progress yeah mm-hmm. because yeah. rap was changing everything changed was changing. real quick too everything was starting to change so my question is how did you not know that as music changed and the times changed kids wouldn't change with it I don't think they because that's, accepted it. They didn't yeah. want to accept that it was change. Change music, is hard. Yeah, music. change is real hard. Definitely for that generation. With our generation now, music is our best source of influence. Oh, definitely. But it's the worst source of influence to go to. <laughs> hey, you're right though. It's the best. Especially worst. nowadays. It, it, oh man. Because if music was like music back then, especially uh, how we are now, soulful music, soulful music. And that's what uh, I was watching this video. This guy mm-hmm. said, we need to, people need to hear things with heart in it. They, they need harmonies. You know, people need to hear people sing because it brings something to their spirit. Everybody's just screaming now. It's funny. That's what, that's what people Wait up, hold up a minute. Yeah, he said there's no R&B singers anymore. He said everybody's just talking about drug, sex, and money, Trend. but nobody's just singing, trend. you know. They're doing what works and not what's in the heart. Yeah. You know, when you sing, that's something from the spirit. You know, like oh. you're pouring yourself out. You could rap, it could be from the spirit. It's poetry, yeah. you know, it's from the spirit. But he said, when you hear somebody sing and it just hits you, it's but a it's different funny. kind of those, hit you. Those people don't make it. My no. mom said, it's funny. It's not music. It's twisted. Yeah. But the people who speak from the heart and actually share, they don't make you it. You know, 
after all these podcast sessions I do with all these great artists who spit real music, they don't make they it far. Don't. They but don't. no offense to anybody out there that's grind, I respect all y'all grinds. But people just blah, 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 blah. They make it far. They make Mumble it rappers. They make it far to Mumble. beyond. Yes. But the people who actually you can fill in the music and tell they they don't win. Going against the yeah. grain is hard. It is. Really hard. That's what I'm doing right now, and it feels like, like woo. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. Three young black individuals trying to do something to get black kids it's hard in all ethnicities to come together including adults yeah what we're trying to do is something that most people wouldn't even give an effort to do they don't mm. even want to do it because they, they don't don't lost cause that look exhausting bro <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to taste it uh-huh. nah that's a, that's a lot of trying to get the two trying to get 1960 in 2019 to come to a point where we can operate and connect LOL. on the same level and understand mm-hmm. each other, tell me who's trying to do that. And even when you think of it, just imagine how powerful that would be. Even the speakers <laughs> now today are still trying. Yeah. And they're even saying, we're depending on you all uh-huh. to do it. Yeah, because they know we're the soon we're enough, the y'all now. Gone. Listen, we are the now. Literally. I, I keep screaming at it. Like, it's no do, more future for now. What we do uh-huh. now yep. determines the next 30 to 40. Woo! Yeah. Years. I love that feeling, though, man. It makes me want to grind hard every day. Oh, yeah. Gosh. It's like, because this is now, you know, back when it's just a few years ago, we'd be like, oh, the future, the future. You know, that's now. Yeah. <laughs> that's now. That's now. I mean, of course, we, we still have a long way to go, future. but. Yeah. The kids behind us are watching us. Yeah. Yep. Just like how you said, Justin, damn, your kid's seven already. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, like what? <laughs> like, it seemed like uh, yesterday. Yeah, I just had my baby. But you think seven years from here, you know, it's mm-hmm. going to be that now. Mm-hmm. You know, we'd be saying this is the now. So we are that next influence Ooh, to raise this. these next generations. What we do is so important. Oh, it's well, we're, so we're about to lead the world into its next part of the to the next part of this journey you know because these next kids like we only, have to we have to grab them we're the you only know? age group who can create a shift in these kids no we are we are we told are. We, we're, we're the, the now age group and you think how we are we're all artists we're artsy you yeah, know we're I'm artsy people in, in this own individual right you mm-hmm. feel me we are and we want to see good done by people you know maybe not everybody's awoken or conscious of it yet not, not yet that's what I said not yet. yet Yep. but they will be and once they have kids you know see how things have done we're gonna change we're gonna change a lot of what's the mm-hmm. bullshit our parents had to deal with especially when we we're up in our 30s 40s you feel me and even now, we're making the small changes to it becoming now. You know, there's other podcasts out there. Shout out to y'all as well. Yeah. You know, people are screaming this in their That's, music. You know, it's it's a subtle change, but it, that change is happening. It's happening. It's just yeah. so hard to go against that grain. Yo, like he was, it's, yeah. it's, some days one, I ain't allowed to you. I just be like, damn. Yeah. You know, one thing this process shit. makes you do, and I've I've been noticed not to cut you all off, but I, go feel, ahead, this, bro, go I ahead. feel this is really important to say. What I'm doing, it's forcing me to reach for like the borderline edge of everything. Mm-hmm. Like I've been, I've been reaching out to these speakers like clockwork uh, yeah. and not caring if it, I don't know why. Yeah. It's going for it. Yeah. It's going for it. Like going the position I'm in, it's literally forcing me to reach for things that are humanly impossible. Like mm-hmm. I know these speakers are going to ignore me. Yeah. It might be one. Exactly. Yeah. It might be that one yeah. that says, hey, I want to come on and have a live chat with you. Yeah. What? I don't know why I'm reaching for it. Because you know. But I will not stop at anything, and I keep reaching. Because you know, once oh, you keep reaching, God. you're going to grab something yep. eventually. Yep, it's going to gravitate towards you, actually, man. Yeah, yeah. You, I keep you, reaching see, for these speakers. Success doesn't come without effort. Yeah, you got to so, put in that effort. And, or I, I got to be doing something there. right because they're following me. Mm-hmm. Are oh, they following they, you too? These speakers are following. Good. They're following me for a week and then they're unfollowing. Me. That's which, okay. Which tells me I'm not being consistent enough for them. That's mm, okay. That's real. They need. They need something to look at continuously. Yeah. Accountability, bro. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. At least, at least you yeah. got that hand. At least you're aware of that too. I had, I had to put that out there. No, hey, that's good. Someone would say Justin was telling you earlier that YouTube channel. I'm telling, yeah, yeah. I'm telling it's you, good. bro. That's that a great you... way to be accountable. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And even like how we saying your motivational posts. I feel like you could do that every day, simple, quick. I feel mm-hmm. like that really just something heard, short and sweet would be I good. I heard something in the morning changes a lot. It right. does. Saying like a like a ten second video in the morning actually catches the attention of people. Once they wake up, guess where everybody goes? 
social, social media, media and they see your post, you may change your whole fucking day, your whole life. You never whole, know. Yeah. <laughs> you never People know, like to wake up to motivational speakers. Yeah. You Do you know? think post, because I use, when I post stuff, I usually post it around like 9.30 or is that not early enough? Yeah. No, that's I a good that's time. Good. I think that's good. Because then you think it'll still be in your your uh, timeline anyway, yeah. or it'll be in your uh, the feed. The feed. So yeah. they'll be able to see it even when they scroll down. Because Instagram isn't like before, where it was like, all right, he just posted this recently. It'll do like he posted this hour ago, two right, hours right. ago. This is a week, you know. Right. So it's not the same format. So you have a better chance posting it early. You know, nine o'clock is a good time. That's what I usually um, post not, my it's nine o'clock or like noon. Mm. Yeah, I'll post. I say you could do a double one. You know, a midday midday word for you. You feel That's me? Right, and yeah. to just speak That's something I quick. I recommend yeah. morning and um, if you're gonna do post personally, I recommend like morning, like nine a.m. and after five p.m. people get off work because you got yeah. rest. Everybody not work schedule now. Yeah, that morning right before they go in. What in this case they had a bad day after work? Boom, they see a post again. You know what I mean? He yeah, says some positive, like, throw some shit off. Yeah, there. it was like damn. It was That's a hard when traffic day. actually yep. kicks up though. Five o'clock. That's when the social media traffic kicks up. A it kicks lot. up. Oh yeah, that post around they three. off. They That's off and run into yeah. the run into the phone. Had <laughs> five o'clock. What are you gonna do? Go to Instagram. I've been dying to say this all day. Yeah, yeah. 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 Take advantage of it, man. And in yeah. due time, it's gonna boom. It's gonna take a lot of consistency. Though. we all going through it but oh yeah so, I, I love i love the learning process of this oh it's a it's a grand one yeah like i uh, i'm telling you writing this story is the learning it's a process mother, it's a mother you know you say embrace the journey and the process and the process and the journey will embrace you mm -hmm. yeah and I realized that more and more. Even though sometimes we get like frustrated all the hard work and dedication put into this shit, we don't see enough results. But we gotta look at the long term aspects. The uncertainty in this is so liberating. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. And that's something like Give that's that also something our parents didn't understand. You giving you that adrenaline rush, reaching for the impossible, is just like it makes you feel more alive than ever. You gotta keep that on. You gotta hold on to that. You know, oh, you got to hold on to it though. Yeah, yeah. like you can't because you, uh, if you drop it, you really won't be inspired anymore. Yeah. You just be like, I'm just doing this. Just you won't even do it. You just gonna be like, well, I need a job. Other I, things will become a greater priority than your your personal legend. You I know? was just talking about that. That I said you're going to be consistent with something you honestly want to do and honestly you love. Mm -hmm. I just said that in my my vlog today because. And when you love something, you know, you're going to get your ass up and do it. Like, yeah, it's like somebody call like, hey, come here, let's kick it, do this. You're going to go do it. Yeah. But if you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. That's the difference. See why yeah. I mean? That's the difference. Mm -hmm. When you love it, just it's fun. It's fun. Like, it's, when your heart is in something, you last longer. You yep. know. Because your why actually has more value to it. Yep. And you see the, you just see yourself changing. Like, so many new things start to happen and you just explore. Because, like, I could say with my story this week. I, I wrote a going? paragraph. I was oh. just about to say the same. How's yeah. it going? How's yeah, it actually, going? it's coming along fantastic now. Like it's just it's so many new. I see my uh, my creative abilities really enhancing, especially when That's it really good. comes to describing. Because at first, a lot of people's like, I can see your story, but it's like I need to feel it now. Like I need to feel it. I need to, hmm. more description. You know, and it's just so I can vividly see. You coming in tune. You're trying to come in tune with the story. I, yeah. I was just about to say, as yeah. you write the story, it's actually going to tell it's, who you are, not who you feel, it's, it's, what you feel. Yeah. The longer you write a story, the mm -hmm. more it becomes, a, the more you actually start becoming a part Ooh, of the story. Yo, yeah. and that's what's making it fun because yeah. it's like, oh yeah. shit, yeah. like, I, it going. It's, it's coming in tune. I'm like, yo, faster. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yo, I'm liking this. And now it's like, oh, I can't wait to. To see what I write next or what else comes to my brain to put on this because it's just advancing and I'm like, this is a story, you know, and it's just a proud moment for me just to be like, right. hey, I'm writing a story right now, you right. know, so it's holding on to the little things and just being like, I'm proud of this. Well, this podcast got deep at the end. <laughs> it did. <laughs> it did. Shout out to everybody That's who tuned in. Be, Shout out to the people who was watching, man. Yeah. This was going day. Uh, shoot. As always, just end off with some good wisdom, man. The wisdom? Yeah. Just throw something out there, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I got to think of something I ain't said before. Your goal of the week, something you just want to leave people with, whatever. Well, my, my goal of the week I'm going on a fast and just to be a little transparent on here, a lot of God's been putting me in position for a lot of things lately. Mm. Like I've been watching God's move in my life 
physically. Mm. What I experienced this Sunday was one of the most I saw it. Price it was one of the most priceless moments of my life. Like the thing that I envisioned happening mm-hmm. happened on Sunday. Yeah. And I was I was in shock and I lost for words. Mm-hmm. But something that I could leave people with Don't be afraid to jump, man. Yeah. And don't don't wait too long because once you jump, your life will light up in a way that becomes addicting. And the more you jump, the easier it gets. Living life on the edge is the meaning of life. Yeah. That is the meaning of life. Shout out to that. And my my goal for this week get through this fast. What I'm doing, <laughs> my goal, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep y'all in tune every week. But my goal is to stay away from meat mm. for thirty days. Rid myself of that meat and consecrate myself in prayer and study and God's word finding myself that's my goal but that's my that's my long term goal cool you did it already congratulations I'm gonna I'm gonna congratulate you on the success you've already achieved real real. that's my goal but for the end of this week it's um what's today Wednesday Mm mhm it's going to be hard. By Sunday, I want to have made at least eight posts. Eight, eight to ten posts by Sunday. That'll be my goal. Go for it, man. Eight to ten. So the only way I can do that is to do about two a day. Oh, you can do mm. it. You got enough content, bro. Yeah, not you do. Not all the content you didn't racked up in the last few weeks. Believe it or not, hours of content. You have a lot of content. You can pull out easy yeah. with that. You know what I mean? That's my goal. And mm-hmm. magnifying my energy because I've been doing very good at that. I've been yeah. That's been that's been doing real well with me. Sweet. You going to go? Uh, uh, I got go. you. Yeah, go I ahead. got you. Uh some advice. I have two. One of them is pay attention to your dreams. Mm. Your dreams are messages, you know, from yourself, you know, that you should pay attention to. I've had dreams that I just like, what the heck does this mean? Or it'll be certain parts of the dream that just stand out the most. And then it'll be a reflection of what happened the next day or a few days later, even a week later. You know, pay attention to your dreams. Write your dreams down. Start a dream journal. You know, your dreams are signs and messages from a higher source, you know, that they need you or want you to see at that current time. Mm. And my dreams have been so on point with everything. And I've just been just passing them on, you know, just being like, okay, like, all right, we're going to see if this one happens and it'll happen. And it's a good five of them in the last two weeks that have all happened. So pay attention to your dreams. That's something people just, you know, just random. So no, it's keys in there. You just have to find those keys and two, eat the earth, you know, spend more time, eating your plants you know go back to being a vegan yeah like that's something we have to meat is not all life these sweets ain't all life this fast food is definitely not life you know that's death you know it's just a slow death it's cancer causing be very mindful of what you eat be very careful of what you eat eat the earth you know she will do you no wrong in any type of way you can get everything from her so, I think uh, Justin over here meditating. I was. I took a deep breath. I was like, he oh, right. Yeah, I was listening yeah, to what he was saying. Yeah, it was real. I was like, yeah, I'm sitting here. We've been doing that for. We've been doing that for a minute. Yeah, right? actually, oh, I man. see what you were talking. He was yeah. vibing to yeah. your shit. Yeah. I was. I was, I was wow. out here. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> um, shoot. Like you know, what's crazy. The reason why I locked into that so hard because I was gonna read the same thing about dreams. I had a dream two nights ago. I'm not going to explain the whole dream, but long story short, somebody came to you know clean my parents' house and fix it up. And then she asked me, she's like, hey, so what do you do? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to be a nurse pretty soon. And she told me what she did, how she started her company and everything. And she's like, okay, so what do you do? I was like, I just told you, I'm going to be a nurse. She's like, nah, it's more than that what you want to do. And be real with me. And I was like, well. <laughs> I was like, okay, honestly, I want to be a YouTuber and I'm going to travel the world. That's my personal goal. 
and I was like, I feel weird for telling people that because it, it doesn't. It sounds like some imaginary shit. And mm-hmm. she's like, you must have a very small mindset if you mm-hmm. fight. You care about what people think about what you want to do with your life. Oh. Now I was in that dream. It's like. <laughs> She was <laughs> checking the she shit, out, checking of shit out of me. Hey, 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 and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and tell you what, I woke up right after that. Mm. Directly after that, and I went straight to my journal, and I started. I wrote the whole dream in it just so I could document. And I never write my dreams, never. I remember a lot of them, but I, this first time I wrote it down. That's powerful. It was powerful. And usually, you know, we all we dream every day, but it's those dreams that stick to you is what matter, man. Yep. And that stuck to me. Speaking I was like, that, yeah, run with it. I don't know if we got time, but I, Go for I it. will tell you about an experience I had in this dream that I had. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never, and like you said, certain dreams stick with you, but this one, mm-hmm. just th- just thinking about it, it's starting to hit me in my spirit. But it's just, do you ever heard of uh, Fred Hammond, mm-hmm. the gospel singer? So in my dream, it wasn't a dream. It was it was like talking to your higher self and I could just I could just hear a voice talking and in this dream the fervor and my cry out was so passionate just talking about it now I can hear it Mm -hmm. but I I was crying out to God because before I went to sleep that night God allowed me to experience the agony that he feels Mm. the yeah he allowed me to experience the agony that he feels with the evil going on in this world and what we're doing to each other Mm -hmm. and in that moment when i was crying the weight of my pain for this generations and the generations to come was so heavy it started to hurt Mm. and when i went home i put on fred hammond take my hand And in my dream, only thing I said repetitively was, Jesus, please, we need you. That's real. O- over and over. It was just like, <laughs> Jesus, please. Can you explain how you said it? Can, can you do it? Can you do it exactly is, is what you did in the dream? Yeah, yeah if, you, if, you give me a few, if you give me a few seconds, yeah. Bet. Sorry, y'all, that was random. No. <laughs> I was wondering how you said it. Yeah. This, this is different I can do it I think this is what fear is like I don't, I don't know where this is going but I can do it but something in me is holding me back from doing it this, this is different okay so for those of you watching um, when I said living life on the edge and I do want to thank Justin for doing this it's put me on the spot Um, I feel now. Wow! No, 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 no. This, this is this is a moment of teaching, man. Because for me, the for me to actually reiterate this and do it on live, it's a lot of pressure. It's it's, it's different. It's so oh man. And this is a state of view, you know. It's, it's, no, I I can see it. But I'm trying to stir the pain that I had in the, in it. Mm-hmm. It's just a cry. It because it, it it was like it wasn't it wasn't like a Jesus come help me. It was like a Jesus. Oh God, please help me. God, we need you now, please. Yeah. It's like you was the actor, bro. Keep it going. It was a bad. It, it was that real. It was yeah. that over and over. But in my dream, I was in tears, mm-hmm. and I was crying, and I was on my knees. Mm-hmm. 
And it was just that over and over, and I was bawling my eyes out while I was doing it. That sounds like a deep dream, man. Oh, I, that sounds like a deep that, that I'm, dream. I'm real. It's something that I'll never forget. How long ago was this? This happened? This happened no more than a month or two ago. <laughs> Word. So you find that dream was like one of those dreams that's going to stick to you forever. I have it for, I think about that dream all the time. So what do you learn from that dream, though? Like, what's your personal message from that dream? Like, seriously? For those of you out there, um, I know you've had your personal bad experiences with religion, and I know you're confused. I know you've come across a lot of misfits to god's image and who we're supposed to be as a body in christ and what, what i would say to you is don't allow one bad experience to contaminate your view on who god is because in the bible it says jew nor gentile which means believer or non-believer god cares for everybody if he was bold enough to create you knowing that you might not believe He's with you every day, even if you don't believe. He's the one that's waking you up every single day. So if I could leave you with one message. God loves you no matter what. Just because you see a bad illustration of who God is, because as a body in Christ, we're supposed to have open arms. And in reality, what we're doing is we're creating a wall between God and and man between lost souls and God we're creating a barrier mm -hmm. because we're trying to conform God's word to our life and make it comfortable but you cannot put God's word in the boundaries of your life and expect him not to break your barriers and throw them everywhere mm -hmm. he will break your own barriers mm -hmm. so for the people who have had bad experiences Don't worry about so the people who are biased about what God is and who God is. Don't worry about the fundamental yeah. Christians, the people who use the Bible as a sword to yeah. persecute those who don't believe. Find somebody who's willing to publicly announce their shortcomings. Me, I'm not the perfect Christian. I lost my virginity before I was married. I have been under the influence of porn. I've battled with demons. It's real. Christians aren't perfect. Not supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, because I damn sure ain't. A saint is just a a saint is just a believer who never gave up. Mm -hmm. So just <laughs> because I may seem all righteous and holy now. Don't forget that every great person started at a low point. Sure did. <laughs> so every real. righteous and holy believer started dirty. Because you're born dirty. People hate the people. A lot of people don't you're admit that. That's my reason. You're born dirty. Mm -hmm. So if I could tell people out there, go to God. Don't go to man. Because man will distort your image of who God is. Mm -hmm. God doesn't control evil. Evil comes from within. Sure do. It is not. It is not what goes in, but it is what. It is from within, out of a man's heart, that defiles us, and from our heart comes evil thoughts, such as sexual immorality, maliciousness, lies, rude anger, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's in the, that's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Evil already rests inside of you. Oh, do you're a spirit living a human experience? Your sp <laughs> oh, shit, I just read that. Your, sp going. your spirit <sighs> is strong, but your flesh is weak. But in the Bible, it says your spirit is willing, but your flesh is weak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So, how you use your body 
is how you manifest your spirit in reality. Because your temple is God. Yeah, yeah I, people yep. don't I beseech you therefore, that. brethren, that you offer up your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, because your body is a temple in which God lives. When you accepted Christ as your Savior, you accepted him into your life. You accepted him into your heart. His spirit is in you. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. He's literally inside of you. So what you're doing to yourself, you're doing to him. There is, there is no sin against the body aside from sex. So when you do watch porn and you are fornicating, you're doing all these things. You're destroying what's inside of you. Mm-hmm. And when you operate in sin, you actually decrease your amount of strength you have against the evil in this world. We're not going to continue because we're supposed to be getting off. <laughs> <laughs> well said, man. Yeah, that's, that's what that I That was mean. deep, man. That's, that's all I, mean. I want to say, like, uh, just real quick. Part of your dream, like how you was begging for help. Like, we need you. Me and my friend Kia, we was just talking about that. Like, we would say we'll cry for other people, you know, just seeing the pain that so many people are going through you it's know heavy. you you can see it it's heavy. like people who just are so tired like so tired and you know our parents have been going through this grandparents you know if you got great grandparents they've been going through this for years and you know it's just getting worse mm -hmm. and it's like we really are crying out like we need some help like we need a savior we need a change because people this isn't the human existence you know like we're not supposed to be broken to this point. I mean, I understand we we're supposed to be. Everybody, yeah, everybody's yeah. broken. Supposed to be broken it's already it's for a reason. Together. But it's yeah. like we're tired now. You know, like people are really just like I'm tired. You know, and we we need some help. And we was at the park one day, and we just was both cried out just to the sky. We just like we need some help. Mm. Like we really need some help. And I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna call on all everybody up top. Like I personally, please come help us. We all need help. You know. And I say, yeah, yeah, like, ain't no more than that. Nobody yeah. can't lie to about that one. No. I'm all good. No, yeah, man. Like, no, we we need it badly yeah. at this point in time, man. One like, thing that's helped me with that, honestly, my personal way in close to God is meditation, man. Oh yeah, peace, peace, peace. That's what we all really God, deep down is peace is of mind. Peace. Yep, yeah. and I realized that. Once you have peace, you can hear God talk. Yep. So that's my key, honestly, y'all. Is the meditation. Any way you want to. Like I said, meditation is not restricted. It's just sitting down. You know what I mean? It's different ways to meditate. No, yeah. It's walking meditation. Go to the park and just walk. It's just yeah. being mindful. I want to take this so far. Like, what we're doing right now, bro. I don't understand how much this means to me. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Like, so, this is. I just want to put that out there. But this. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm goofy a lot of times, y'all. <laughs> oh, that's me. That's yeah. you, bro. I, I know you're passionate yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. This, it's, I'm getting emotional just talking about it, but this. It's something that could change many lives and have is, an impact. This is my world, man. Yeah, this is our world. You feel me? <laughs> like, that's how I be feeling. This is my <laughs> world, it's yo. My, yeah. This is my world, man. Like, I. Man. I'm just paid or not, bro. I'm yeah. not stopping this. Paid or not. Of course not, man. You know what you say, man. Sometimes we got to get out that. Actually, Zaire said one of the, we could like, I have a call every time he show up and stuff. He said, get the money, but don't chase the money because sometimes it can block out your dreams. You're chasing mm -hmm. the money so much, you just, you just become a victim to the money pretty much. That's all you focus on. That's all you point. focus on. You I mean, can't chase money. You yeah, we need money. Let it come to you. Follow. Yeah. Money will always come when you're doing what you're supposed to. Make the money to survive, of course, you know, but hey. Kanye we, West. Yep. He's my favorite person to say on that because mm -hmm. Kanye was coming out speaking facts. Yep. You know, he came out telling the real with yeah. everything, oh, yeah. everything, and the money got to him. Money changes people. And you know, he told people through his music. I think he knew it was getting to him. You ever listen to his old music? Yeah. Listen to now, then compared Bruh. to now, bro. You, you peep that, bro. And people keep on getting man, Kanye. I'm like y'all, y'all not get, real Kanye you fans. Then older, yeah. you start to hear the little things of uh, artist music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In their lyrics. He was saying it years ago. Yeah. That's a fact. People are like, oh, Kanye changed. He told us this. It was happening years yeah. ago. He was actually crying. Like you said, crying out for help. Believe it yeah. or not, something, through his music. Something Eminem said broke me down in tears just yesterday. I was thinking about 
because I was, I was just, I think I was reflecting, and it's just like, is it me or the longer you live, the more you realize you only get one chance to live life. You only get one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Eminem said it and lose yourself. Mm. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity that you get once in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, that's the deepest part to the song. When I heard that uh -huh. and I was thinking about it, I broke down in tears. Yeah. Because it's like when I was younger, man, I took life for granted so much. Yeah. This opportunity that you get once Damn. in a lifetime. When you actually break down yeah, the lyrics, down like you lyrics say them, but you, you gotta know. listen to lyrics. That's why I love lyrics. You, you gotta listen. Do not let the chance. What are you say? What's it again? You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow this opportunity that you get once in a lifetime. Yeah. That's you, it. You know what? I think it's a problem though. A lot of us, we still, we, we embrace life. I ain't gonna lie. Some days we still do take for granted though. You know, and, yes. and opportunities that come with it. We still do, but like I always say, I'm just blessed we're aware of it though. So, yeah, we, we, so we can we never. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, like you know. <laughs> you know, yeah. But yeah. it's don't be oblivious and then just keep Pay going. <laughs> Pay attention. Pay, <laughs> That's what I do. Pay attention. Pay attention to all the signs, the omens, because they are right in front of you. Pay attention to the things that happen repetitively in your life. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the messages. And the messages. Because yes. you hear people keep saying, you should do this. You hear, and the, then, you hear the same thing from different people more than once. You need to pay attention. You need to just do it. Act, do by faith. What was some crazy? Yo, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm with y'all. Like, what was some shit like? Hey, Num bruh, go. numbers mean so much. Where everybody come up and tell you, hey, go bungee jumping. When you go bungee jumping, I it might be. Want to. Or you, do, I don't like want to go bungee talk, jumping. I, like real talk, I actually want to go bungee jumping. I do too. That's good. I and I want to get in one of those planes after skydiving. That was it. I wanted. Oh, I want to do skydiving. I do so bad. I, I enjoy really. it. I really want to skydive. And if somebody, maybe if a bunch of people tell you to skydive, it might be somebody there you meet. It's, that's the reason. Man. It might not be the skydiving itself or bungee jumping itself. It might be the person you meet while you're doing that and they could change your life forever. I like the way y'all look at life. <laughs> I, I can resonate to such a high level. You're right, though. It's all part of the journey. It's like the universe is giving you hints through other people. We're all yeah. one at the end of the day. We're divine. We have our own mindsets. We're still divine. Oh, we're all connected. We're all connected. Wow. It's just That's we all. Today. Yeah, we just have a different viewpoint. We all just, yeah. we see things differently, but once we speak it, you know, it's like, yeah. ah, you're right. You know, yeah. like, that's what we're here for like even just doing this like we we channel different parts of each other that it's like you knew but they're they're giving that validation you feel me wow now that's deep when you think about that though man yeah. that makes you just want to trust life just, just wake up and just go you, you know what i mean you <laughs> have to it, you can't control life yeah you know we say that all the time though but if i'm gonna speak for myself personally i say all the time but it's still about 50 percent of the week i still feel I find my way trying to control life. <laughs> and it gets frustrating, like, ah! <laughs> I think that's our nature, though. Yeah, you want to control. We want to control yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the human, we have to learn to, that's why we, we, we always do this, but like they say, you got to lose that control over but it. It's scary so, to let go sometimes. Yeah. You're scared, you don't know where you're going to go. Like you said jumping off that cliff. You feel life, me? It's weird how life contradicts itself. Ooh. When you try to control life, It'd you don't like, have control, but when you let go, you gain control. <laughs> yeah, because now you're like, I don't have no control. I'm nervous. I'm all out here. In the woods and shit. Yeah, <laughs> it is crazy because life doesn't just contradict itself in that. The rich aren't happy and the poor are happy. The rich give less and the poor give more. Yeah. The people who are successful started from the bottom. Mm -hmm. the people that started off successful they go to the bottom mm -hmm. and it's just like life will make a fool out of you yeah it sure will it'll it shake your world up quick as hell be like oh you thought yeah. <laughs> oh, you I ain't gonna never do that watch next thing what happens right. and then it's gonna be you gonna learn today that's true y'all you gonna learn today that's why we we at the quote unquote bottom guess yeah. where we about to be you know you got to trust the process and trust the universe to. and yeah. all that it comes with. I'm trying to really get to the point where you just let go though in life. I'm really, it's so hard to do because I'm scared. Like you say, I'm scared. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen, yeah. but I'm really, each day, pushing that level, just not not trying to say not give a fuck about life, just literally just let, let go, go and see happens. where it takes me. Yeah, like, yeah. And that's so scary though. It's so scary. It's like, 
by, by, by this age, I should know, like, you look here, life is going to guide you in a good way as long as you have good intentions. So what's the worry? You know? Your intentions are important. Yeah. Long, I, and I'm starting to realize that, Justin, let's have good <laughs> intentions and really let go. But be it still pur- feels scary. Yeah. Be purposeful about what you do mm-hmm. and the rest will fall into place. Well, Put in the time and you'll get the prize eventually. You will have it. What is it? A certain amount? What is it? Ten thousand hours, and you become a master or something? Yeah, ten, you, craft? Put, you put ten thousand in. Yeah. Mm. Mastery, good book for, to read. Easy too. I gotta read that. Self mastery. Yeah. Mastery. Yep, ten thousand hours. Like Jay Z even said, put five years, invest five years into yourself. Man, that's <laughs> my first vlog ever. I post my last channel. It's called mm-hmm. the Five Year Plan. Yeah. I'm onto wow. something. Yeah, yeah, it's called the Five Year Plan. First wow. vlog I ever posted. You can go check it, y'all. The Lavish Dream, my first I, daily vlog, is titled check that out. "The Five Year yeah. Plan." And I told yeah. everybody my, my not my exact you know ideal, but yeah. what I want to do in five years. Yeah. And that's crazy. I can't wait to go back on that. You wow. know, God's willing, if it's five years from now, and bring it back up. See, I, I'm onto something. My five years yeah. is quick too. Like yeah. when you think about it, five years will go yeah. really quick, especially how fast too. time is going too. Yeah. You know, but this is week number four. You think I just met you four weeks ago? Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and we're already in here doing our thing. So it's like. Wait a minute. How long have I known you now? Four weeks. So Justin, I don't even know. Oh, we met second grade, third grade, second going to third That's adventure camp? Crazy. Yeah, me and you met in Shit. adventure camp. Yeah, we <laughs> met. <laughs> Boy, we was like young. Nine years old. <laughs> ignorant. <laughs> this is ignorant. We was wilding, man. Like that's we crazy. We're almost twenty years in. <laughs> but that's what I said. Yo, your friends is your to me, your friends is your closest family. You feel yeah. me? Cause when you think about it, like I know all of my friends from back at this age. You know, no matter how far I went left, right, forward, backward, I still can say the same people are in my circle. You know. Right. Like they they've been chosen for me. Yeah, my my family, I picked them, but my friends were chosen <laughs> for me. You feel me? I yeah. chose to come to this family and deal with all this chaos. But my my friends, like they were they've been there. They've been my family. They've shown me through everything. Like, we accept you, yeah, man. We still here. We rock with you. We know That's how you right. are. So yeah, keep your friends close, especially if they knock toxic. If they talk to you, but if they really with you, if they toss the danger down, friends. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's an associate. Y'all believe that quote: "Keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer." No, nah, I'm gonna be wrong. I don't believe in that. I, I My just, own perception. Go ahead, bro. I just oh, it's I just the enemy part. The enemy part throws me the fuck off. It's just because if you're my enemy. One, I don't even believe in having enemies to that point. Because mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't even see myself. Yeah, you're going to have people who don't like you, who don't, you know, care. But I'm not the type to have enemies. Like, mm-hmm. to the point where I have I have to do something to you to make you my enemy. To that point, you, you know, like enemies like, I hate you. Mm-hmm. And I try not to have life where anybody can say, I hate Zaire. You might just say, certain things you do, I don't like. You know, he yeah, I don't hurt. like him, but... No, yeah, I but not to the point, I hate you. Like, an enemy hates you. Hate is a strong... Somebody thing. told me that when we was younger, though. Somebody told me, uh, actually, a lot of women told me that from the past. It's just a hurt, though. It was a hurt, I feel like. You yeah. don't hate me for real. Yeah, but you think <laughs> anybody... It, it's a word you can say, but to really hate something, that's Ooh, an enemy. That's a pat, yeah. That's people an enemy. Use, people, use so, people use that word so loosely. Yeah, yeah they do. You know, like, I hate you. Like, not trying to bring up Nipsey Hussle's death. That was an enemy. Me. He posted by enemies before he died. You see, yeah. they had a universe and worse, man. Oh, yeah. He said, if they take me out, you better ride for me. He says, mm-hmm. else doing his tweet, though. He said, oh, I know, I about, about, keep about, your enemies remember. close or something like that. Enemies, something about enemies. And then he died uh, two hours later. Somebody shot him, an enemy. And that's kind of why I feel like you don't really, you shouldn't want your enemies closer. Yeah. Because if they're close to you, that's a that's a, a striking range. Yep. You feel me? You like, yep. It's a range where they can reach you, they can touch you, or your family or they whoever. Yep. They get they it's too close. I don't want my enemies close. If I have an enemy, we don't need to even be around each other. Keep your ass. You don't never know me. You don't yeah, know me, bro. Like, you don't, don't know me. <laughs> I, you don't know where I live. You don't know what I'm doing. You might see stuff I put out. You might know right. about me, but to the point where I want you close. Yeah. If it, if it's dangerous, I, I gotta have eyes on you to make yeah. sure my people safe. But that's true. to that point, I don't even want enemies. Yeah. Like that's something I do not want. I want friends. I want family. Yeah, I'm that's cool with enemy shit because I'm cool. Fuck all that. Keep your enemies close, y'all. That's I mean, right. if somebody look at their own way, that's cool. Me, I'm cool. 
Yeah, you could exactly. get that energy far away and don't even come near me. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a, it's a good. I understand the quote, I but it, it too. it's it's a it's a quote that's kind of like that's a self centered, yeah. selfish quote. Sound like like have everybody eyes on me, like pretty much type <laughs> shit. It's like, like a Romans time type <laughs> quote. Like niggas are really in battle <laughs> out here. Just your enemies close. <laughs> like Donald Trump would be saying that. Like, yeah, people like he, that. Like, that's what I'm he, trying to he, say. Yeah, he's, he's the type of person he'd be saying that. You know, because he really has done things to make people hate him. You that's true. So. That's one person who really don't care, though. He really don't. Like, he, he don't care. What and he blunt. Him. He, he blunt. Does. Hey, man. He gives all us Geminis a bad He's name. here for a reason, man. <laughs> we're we're going to look. We're going to lay down on the lights. I don't think anybody go too much into later on life. Let's just say everything that's happening right now. It's gonna, it's gonna be a reason behind it. A oh. beautiful reason too. A, a great reasoning, believe it or not. He so exposes life. their, their, yeah. their motives. That's why I like Trump being in office because yeah. like Obama was like that pacified. Like yeah, yeah, we got this black man in here. Keep it. But yeah, we you know we're good. We with y'all. We love y'all. You see oh. this black man, Donald Trump. We hate you. We don't <laughs> f with you. F and they're like, f yeah, yeah. And, you know, we'll and be like it, cool. And cool. it shows people true colors. I said I like to see if you're racist because you're showing me what you are that means i don't need to associate i don't need to be fake around you you don't right. have to be fake around me because right. you're you're exposing yourself that's fine be that because i'm gonna be over here i'm you're gonna be over here i'm gonna be over exactly here. That, that's here. good you know you know like Shit. so i like that donald trump comes in and stirs things up and just be that blunt voice behind the people you know to the people behind him because yeah. it shows like we are in a fucked up country yeah like we're in a really effed up country and this is our government <laughs> you know the 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 land of the free yeah this is the land of the free huh yeah you feel me so hey. I, that's why i like him everything else he don't ruin my life <laughs> if that man got that. shot and died <laughs> if he if he became president for another four years i'm still jacked up tax is still coming out my check <laughs> 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 you feel me till i'm free hey whoever they get in there that's who they're sending there you're your own person. Well, y'all ready to end off the podcast? Yeah, man. Yeah, I thought we was going to end it. Yeah, we should have done that. was like an hour ago. It would like an hour ago. It kept getting deeper. And yeah. Deeper. Hey, man. Hey, it's a reason, man. Yeah. It was a reasoning. And this yeah. podcast, I always say, everything we do on here and say is timeless. Always remember oh, that. Oh, very much. Oh, yeah. Always remember that, man. And we just got to run with it. Well, Y'all all set with everything? Oh, yes, yeah, sir. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, actually, I'm not going to do it today, y'all. We out of here. We're going to see y'all next week. Till next time, y'all. Hey, y'all. But as always, we create, inspire, and spread greatness. Peace yes, and love. Sir. Peace and love. So I switched it up. Now. Oh, we got to do the picture still at the end, though. Oh, yeah. You ready? Yeah. We good. We good.